Now I can put that up. I can grab this, so I'm not. All missiles on this bad boy. Oh, you were able to uh, apply, use the. Uh... Yeah. Now all I got to do is buy my, one of the packages. My top things. suggestion is the game package that oh, the Chuck has, bag. Oh, which God. is the cutlass. All right, gentlemen. It has been some oh, time since the last A time we've bit. been yep. all together, kind of all in the same place, hating each other's existences. You know, the same old, same old. So we're back in our wonderful town where you guys are trying to outhold against the Knoll raid. And we had a bit of a snafu when it came to the end of that session prior because we didn't have Josh with everything happening. So yeah. it was kind of up to discussion at the time to see if we were going to either A, let everything play out as is, where Oz was in a daze to get things going quicker, but still kind of having everything transpired as such. Or B, trying to retcon back in on how Josh would have reacted at certain scenarios. Mm -hmm. The left side happened as such. You saw the fight that came in, the people going through. You got the wall of ice that Dehagru put out that kept everyone moving across. You have the houses and everything getting caught on fire. You have the constant ooze coming out of from the tree that got changed. You have zombie gnolls coming out. You've seen the shamans walking about. You've seen the larger beasts charging after you guys. You've had the undead dreadnoughts that you now know you have to kill with radiant damage or it keeps coming back. <laughs> Not really. You just, you guys just... Lol. Just kept, kept failing. You <laughs> just kept failing to kill it. <laughs> yep. That's where you got the finger guns. Well, once I like I've come to recognize that the undead, I was like, oh shoot, it's one of those ones mechanically wise. Yep, yep, yep. So, I'm pretty sure you guys are all here and listening and happy and everything else. So, for the events that have transpired, we know a few things from everybody. First and foremost, you know that Chuck the Vile is hanging from his belt has broken, cracked, I should say, and has no liquid left within it. Mm -hmm. You know full well that the mayor is a dick to everybody, apparently. And he has pulled the townsfolk out of the church into the open to pretty much ask them to fight for their own lives. Horus, the samurai-looking token that you guys know of, moves over and pulls his blade out onto the mayor and says this is not really the way it is because he himself recognizes that this is just sending them to their deaths. That was the scenario that we went through initially. Josh, are you present and listening? He might be, but he's muted anyway. Okay. Yes. At any point, would you have changed the way that you acted for the townsfolk making their way out of the church, the mayor going, hey, this is this is the time. We got to stand up and fight for ourselves. We need to push these gnolls back ourselves. We can't trust these people. You see that they're already cursing our lands. Is, uh, I'm trying to think if I would. Oz. Okay, I wouldn't change anything up to the point where our samurai friend there. Where is he again? He Which one pulled, is he? He has pulled his blade onto the mayor. Okay. That's when I would have stepped in. Very well. However, I am going to mention that we are still in the initiative order of last time. Okay. I will refine it again because apparently you guys like to post a lot of stuff. Oh, well, it's I'm just sure notes are right average. Yeah, notes are average. Right there. Woo! Perfect. 
Owen, Morhazar, Oz, Dahagru, Boris, and Chrysi. Hmm? All right. <laughs> I put an extra I in there. <laughs> or I just didn't. I, plural. I, for, I forgot the S. Pluralized the. <laughs> this is it. more than one crisis. It's a crisis crazy. collective. <laughs> Legion. Okay, so. Oh my god. Jackie, become one with the Legion. Jeez we Louise. We are, like, we are one. We, we play that game again. We'll have everybody a Legion, but one person normal. <gasps> that would be terrible. Because <laughs> mm. doesn't Legion know who's Legion? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's unfair. Oh, God. Okay, okay we're getting off track. Off track. No, no. Doppelganger. Going yes. On. God. <laughs> my, poor, my poor brain. <laughs> and you've been sitting on the chair this whole time. Oh, yeah. Lawn chair and chairing the shit out of this. <laughs> the whole time. Legend's kind of over there being like, hey, I got this. What, what is happening? It got really cold and chilly over there. Yeah, I got my wine cooler. I'm rocking my wine cooler in the lawn chair. Sweet. That's, Sweet. That's what's happening right now. I need another, come up with a better default option because I've already deployed the chair. I believe <laughs> I ended with the enemies. Am I incorrect in stating that? You mean enemies? I think the enemies. Turn or the I guess, yeah, I don't know. I believe I finished with the enemy's turn. I think hey, that's why are there two horses? I think so. <laughs> I, I, think they just, I think they just completed oh. their turn. Because um, there are two horses, my friend. I don't remember why, but there are now. Duplication bug. Oh, no, I think it was one of the potions of mystery effects that did that. It glitched the matrix. Yes, it was. It was one of the potions you drank, and it mimics your emotion and everything. One of them is the good Boris. No, they're both. Boris is a good boy. Period. Okay. <laughs> you you see both of them looking at you at that time, being like, "Boris is a good boy," and they both have the same motions and everything. Boris doesn't need a mental mental health right now. Doppelganger <laughs> rules apply, right? Yes. But regardless, okay. no, would, we are back at the top. Do. Back at the top of the list with Owen. Oh. Hey, it's me. All right, so it's I guess a in this situation, I'm just gonna be like, well, they're focusing on that conversation. I'm gonna try to take the ones on the bottom right then. Very well. You know that they are big and ugly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those shot. are the yeah. Those are ones that just ran in, right? They yeah. are. Crap, they man. are. Roll. So like, okay. Ooh, what's your added chunk? Luke's... 10? 10, uh, 11, actually. I mean, 11? Or 12. 12. It's 12? Jackie, yeah, you yeah. keep adding more. Yeah, it's 12. <laughs> 12, 13. What, what gives me? 13, 14? 14, what, what, 15? Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> we're, at, we're at a plus 27 now because you just keep yeah, adding to it. Four. Just I'm Okay. So it looks like three <laughs> of them are going to hit. Okay. All right. Yep. 46. Give them all the bonuses. What type of damage will you be going for? Acid. Acid. You trying to melt this guy? Mm -hmm. Nobody <laughs> likes acid. At least it's not fire. Yeah. Let's see. They have. Ooh, doo -doo. Maybe. All right. Yeah, very good. Nice. Very very good. Very good hit. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Perfect. Next player. Which would be Mohaza. Roll my staff for stuff and things. Oh, yes. We must roll your staff. Your staff is in section 15. 15 is. If I roll a 1 for damage, the staff bursts in icy frost. Roll an additional 1d6 cold. Add this damage to the roll. Ah, it's, the, it's the possibly infinite Reactive. damage. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he just keeps rolling. Right? Roll. <laughs> yeah, if I roll a one, I get to roll another d6 for damage. Well, so I could just, if I keep rolling ones, I can keep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
as I said. Oh, hey, Brian, me and you are going to have to talk about that because, well, actually, I'll talk about it now. Question. So, with my um, or three points, one of them, it allows me to re-roll a dice if it rolls a one. So, with how that's worded, my staff... It says, if I roll a 1, I roll an extra d6. But then if I re-roll that roll, so if I if I re-roll the roll, will it cancel out that 1, or does it automatic? Basically, I... yeah. I have, I have input. <laughs> <laughs> By consequence, I'm saying it's a pick, so you can choose whether or not you want to re-roll it. But if you keep the 1, then we'll re-roll a new 1d6. Yeah, that was that was pretty much. Yeah, what is it? Gotcha. Because you can only reroll a die once. Yes. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So I am going to do a ice knife on the group of gnolls to myself. Very good. So that is going to be. Oh, yep. Yeah, plus eleven to hit. And then let me double check my brain because it's been a while since we played, so I can't remember what I get for bonuses. Plus two to all spell attack rolls and damage. Okay. So it's a plus. Oh. Ah, I'm trying to get my poop in a group. All right, one d ten uh or piercing on the one that gets hit. Um, so that would be 1d10 plus 2 because of my ring, so. And then it is an additional 2d6 cold plus 7. Very no, good. Plus 5. Yeah. Okay, let me change that. And that, and that, da and the cold damage is to everybody within a 5 foot range, so all of Yep, them. perfect. Perfect, perfect. Cool. Now we have Oz, who's been kind of stationary for, in a daze, if you will, since the start. Kind of waking up, getting back into it, trying to figure out why he wasn't fully aware of his surroundings during this time. So, Oz is going to... Um... I was just gonna go over and walk in between the mayor and the samurai. Or sort of basically walk over and put his arms between the two, separating them. He's going to be like, listen, you are right. These people are not warriors. They are throwing their lives away if they come out here to fight. However, does not mean there is not a strategy where they need, where that allows them to be helpful and not feel useless. So, if you really, f if you townsfolk really feel the need to fight and protect your city, which I can't stop you from feeling that way, why not create a funnel into the church that is protected? Do you truly believe what this liar is telling us yet again? Do you believe so little that your church is not protected? <laughs> this church will fall just like everyone else who has betrayed us. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> your mayor has given up hope, but I have seen that hope still resides here. He told me when I first got here there was no place for hope. Then how come hope has shown its head? Again and again, despite there being no place for it here. I say that with air quotes. Ah, there you go again. Saying that there's hope. Saying that there is. But why are we to be hopeful? Why are we not to take things by our own hand and force it as we may? Why must we rely on someone else to do our own bidding? Why should we be hopeful? Be hopeful <laughs> I'd rather 
Forrest does not like this guy. <laughs> That's, nah, he's he's, he's, he's misconstruing the definition of, of hopeful. He's saying being hopeful means you have to put faith in someone. You don't have to do that to be hopeful, fucko. <laughs> this is how you become a politician. So I'm gonna. Why do you I'm think he's mayor? Just I'm going to say that nowhere did I say you had to throw down everything, but you can still be helpful and be hopeful without throwing your lives away. You are taking this to an extreme. It does not need to go. I have given, we have strategies. We can do this in a way where we all get out of here as well, alive as possible. Oh, as possible, he says. So he's saying that some of us will not survive. <laughs> he is, is condemning. He great. has <laughs> condemned he has condemned you all, saying that as possible. So he's going to chop off an arm, a leg. It doesn't matter as long as you're alive. This, I, look around you. This is a war. It matter If you truly believe to walk out of here... With if you truly time, believe we haven't be suffered, we haven't suffered as long as we have fighting against thick and thin between the elves, the goliaths, and every other fuck who decided to come here and take from us, then you are sorely mistaken. You are out of place here, good sir. Now, butt out of our business. Can I use a reaction? You may. Oz is going to look and say, I, uh, I take a butt out. big big sip Very from well. my, my wine cooler. Like That's your reaction? Sip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he just do? <laughs> I was trying to Crisis buy just, time, just kind of... Just kind of... Uh, down the bottle for his reaction. He was just like, oh, oh yeah. <sighs> was it delicious? Let's find out. It was. Let's find out. Yeah, oh, it was pretty decent. It's pretty <laughs> decent. <laughs> I'm starting to get a taste for this watermelon horse shit. <laughs> yes, the, mul the multiple flavors of uh, alcoholic beverages you guys have obtained within the last few sessions. <laughs> so, uh, so you get one on. small you get one more small section of speaking before I have to move on to the next character for time reasons yeah. I, I've said my piece believe me or don't trust me or don't do what you will this is your town and then I'm going to begin walking toward those three. I'm going to cast... I'm going to not walk up to them, but yeah. I'm going to get in front of the people here. And I'm going to cast... Where is it? Oh, did he... I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians at 5th level. Did you get my Discord message? Yes, Josh? I did. Okay, just... I'm not sure where I could use it in there. I well, just what's the range? 15, 20, 10? Just plug in it. Uh, 15 foot feet around me. So, um, da da da. Uh, they appear fade. It might help you, like, avoid. Obviously, the I'm designating better. the people. Here. The yeah. townsfolk to not be affected by it. Um, okay. Uh, anything that starts their turn or enters it for the first time. So those enemies that entered it for the first time have to make a wisdom save of 18. Thank you. I was waiting for that number. Looks like all but one pass. Okay. <gasps> Nani. So all of their speed is halved in the area. Um, failed save. The creature takes three d eight radiant. On a successful save, half as much. It takes half as much damage. But you cast at a higher level, so shouldn't it be more? Wait, yes. Uh, hold on. I've got to close out of this. Uh, 5d8. And then half on a successful save. 30 even. Perfect. 
Very good. What did those particular gnolls look like? Oh, you guys remember what they look like. I mean, I'm sure Crisis does. Do what? I'm sorry? I just don't. Oh, <laughs> Shoot, man. We got... Okay, it's those. It's sure there's three of those down there in the bottom right? That it is. Oh, okay. Not those fuckers again. Did I just say, you know... Uh... It was a pleasure knowing all of you. We have done as best as we possibly can, but this might be the end of the line. Is that what you're going to no. say, Chuck? No, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> prices, get off your back and go and fight and save those people. <laughs> get off your lazy oh, ass. <laughs> right, it's my turn. i got to finish my wine. Co Wait, it's gone. I did finish it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish my drink. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, shit. All right, the uh, hot room. That was a well-used reaction. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move uh, over to the right until uh, next to that guy. There we go. And I'm gonna cast a. Uh, what is it? Let me see. His cantrip here. Uh, I'm gonna cast mind sliver. Uh, back at the guy who was in the door of that building. That one? Yep. So int save. 18. It fails. Alright, 3d6 psychic damage. And it subtracts 1d4 from the next saving throw it takes before the end of my next turn. Okie dokie. And... Is it within 30 feet of me? I think it is. Uh, I believe so. Brian, I'll be honest. I don't remember who has my... Uh, yes. My, All right. Uh, so I threw out Damnation to attack it. Added? Seven. That hits? All right. Uh, it takes 2d6 <clears throat> plus two. And now Damnation is fully charged. Very good. Perfect. It's all coming together. Yes. I'm sorry, Miko. What was a, that? This is the first time you fully charge Damnation. I think it is. Oh, I've seen. I don't. I don't honestly remember who had Hex on them, if anybody. Uh, I believe you had it on one of the big guys. One of the scrubs. Yeah. Like the big guy. On the one who died. I thought you maybe. had it on the scrub, and then you ha I, you had it on. The undead, and then the undead died, and I think you transferred it to one of these guys. That was my understanding initially. All right, let's just. Uh, I mean, honestly, you could kind of designate whoever you want. Just, yeah, but I'll just start over with that because I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm done, so it should be Boris now. Boris, so. Boris and uh, his amazingly handsome doppelganger, ganger, ganger, ganger. <laughs> gang, you know gang. what? Gang, gang, gang. Uh, gang, gang. They're gonna both uh, bust into this uh, building to the, to the left of them. Are, are uh, you like physically through the going... open, broken window? Yes, we're going into that building. That oh. way, both of us. Yes, both of you. Actually, now hmm. that we. Which one goes first? <laughs> we move as one. Legion. Legion. Oh my god. Legion. No. Uh, no, that's evil. Why? So, while we are both within this room, we are both going to release our frozen aura. So that each creature within 15 feet of us takes 1d6 cold damage, and they got to make a, 15, uh, a uh, strength save of 16 for their frozen Oh my place. god, and you're immune to cold damage, so it was uh, oh, Correct. That's brilliant. <laughs> okay, roll one more. Looks like they so, failed. I guess I'm glad I gave you all failed, those potions. So they are frozen for one minute, both of them. Uh, and they also take 1d6 each. Yeah, I rolled for that. Oh yeah, cool. wait, you got another one. Yeah, there's two of us. Mm, delicious. <laughs> now, question. Hmm. If, say, 
me, the main Boris, freeze both of them and deal the damage, and then he deals damage as well on his turn, does that expend the frozen, frozen status by getting minutes? damage? No, no, no. Does that instantly break the frozen status? Because it states that if they take damage, it expends the frozen status. I'm retconning to say that if you deal cold damage, I'm not going to break the coldness. <laughs> you know what? That's reasonable. That's, that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. Now, if they're uh, both, if that, if their freezing aura freezes for one minute, does that mean two of them would freeze for two? No. Even if it does, I'm gonna, just I'm gonna break to it one. to do more damage here in a it minute. Just, yeah, it just, it just freezes for the one minute. So they're both frozen. Cool. That's awesome. That's my action. Um, I guess I'm gonna exit. The building now, me and my doppelganger. We're gonna just, I guess, be right outside that window, like right there, not far. And that's my turn because I don't have much else I can do. All right. I think I should transform into Boris. The three of us. Crazy. I think you should. Too. We turn our attention right. to the man in the chair. The man in the chair. The philosopher. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's I'll contemplating hear. his life's choices. If I carry crisis to the enemies, would you fight them? <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> Chucky, would you like to make a strength check to see if you can huck him over? Oh, God. Athletics. Sure. Fine. Has, has crisis been won over by the mayor's hopelessness? Yes. Chucky, what's your added for athletics? Minus one. I'm sure he's just lazy. Minus one. Yeah, you can't move, Crisis. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You understand that this guy too. has probably like a 20 foot tower of just junk he's yeah. carrying with him. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I'll do human determination, but I'm not. Hey, it's only junk if, until it has a use. Oh and with God. how we play, it will eventually have a use. Oh, God. Do I, I right. probably have to intercept these clowns, don't I? Maybe. Probably. All right, I. Uh, how far away are they from my chair? Probably thirty feet. Because I mean oh, that's to well, twenty, so I guess twenty-five, thirty. All right, I. Uh, full like light mode, like leave the chair, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to Gimba stomp one of these guys. The nearest one, if, if uh, possible. I don't With, understand uh, the statement. What are you trying to do? I'm just gonna land on top of him. on top of him with the double-ended mace of the Redeemer. Very well. So mace you're what thirty? Yeah. Okay. What's your added? Plus thirteen. That does hit. And All right. I'll give him that. He's still standing. Okay. Ooh, okay. So the attack right, will go we'll through as normal. Uh, it's going to be 2d4 eight. Bludgeoning. And then 1d8 cold. And then... How much is my bonus damage from... Racial shit. Fourteen radiant. Uh, what level are we? Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen radiant damage, and then he gets knocked back. Um, His corpse gets knocked back ten feet. Oh, all right. What's left of him gets <laughs> knocked back uh, five feet into whatever the hell's behind it. They're added. Oh, God. Yeah, he makes that. Sweet. <laughs> They're very used to dealing with the corpses of their friends. <laughs> yes, I guess. Very so. These are also the same <laughs> guys that you guys remember, because, like I said, I have to retcon token-wise, but these are also the same guys that ripped off the head of a knoll and gave everyone advantage. 
Oh god, kill them. Kill them quick. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I, you know, you're going to make It's not re Oh, we so, got spirit shroud. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to turn on spirit shroud also. Spirit Shroud? Is that what you have on, right, Josh? He has Spirit Guardians. Oh, sorry, Spirit Guardian. I'm going to turn on... Yeah, I'm going to turn on Spirit Shroud. Sorry. Spirit Shroud, do. So, uh... I call forth the spirits of the dead, which flit around you for the spell's duration. The spirits are intangible and vulnerable. Um... Uh, concentration for up to a minute until the spell ends any attack I make or at least at this level that I'm casting it deals an extra 2d8 radiant damage um, I probably should have done this before I hit him but whatever Is this a new I've spell only used it like once because oh, using these two in tandem is actually really ingenious I think it might be we haven't had Mine an opportunity. Mine doesn't give any buffs to you know me or anyone inside, but it it basically completely debuffs. But one one of the things it. is, in addition, any creature of your choice that you can see that starts its turn within ten feet of you has its speed reduced by ten feet until the start of your next turn. Oh, so both those assholes. So those guys. So go their speed is not only halved; it's halved and then reduced by ten as well on Correct. top of the halving. Yeah. Wow. Their move speed is like fucking five feet. Junk. Apart. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's junk. Okay. If they're if it's normally thirty, they're down to fucking five. <laughs> I uh, I will. Can I do a reaction it's by junk. the way? <laughs> Chuck would like to do a reaction. Sure, go for it. <laughs> what are you drinking? Chair. I'm throwing ch uh, crisis chair to him. <laughs> Throw my <cheek. laughs> All right, Chuck. Once again. <laughs> All right. Oh man. So throwing the chair, you were not yeah. able to break Crisis AC. <laughs> so there is yeah, now so a chair. Off and lands next to him. Yes, it's kind of laying flat. <laughs> Crisis on the ground. was very worried that that ping in the back of his armor was is like another bullet of some kind, but it turns <laughs> out it was just a chair. <laughs> it's your chair. Even better. It's, in fact, it's my chair. All right, very Why good. Why you took that spell? I no, I will. Ne I will never. Because <laughs> <it. laughs> everyone always needs a chair. It's <sighs> amazing. The chair is the mascot. Maybe if we give the mayor a seat, he'll feel he'll feel less cranky. If I give him a seat, you mean fucking? If we make it WWE level style, I'll, break I'll a fucking thing over his head. <laughs> Listen, oh. Boris, shut up. We know you don't like him. All right, I think <laughs> He's that's, very uh, hateable. I think I'm yes. spent. Does anyone happen to have a passive perception of 18 or higher? No. Good lord. Oh, no. shoot. I gotta check that. Uh, I know. I know I don't. Mine's like but 11. That, is that possible? Yeah. Uh, shoot. I, had a, uh, I have a passive investigation of passive 19. Passive perception of 18. Yes, I do have it. A passive insight of 20. That That's not a thing, but okay. It says passive wisdom, insight. It is a thing. It's a thing in not my book. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's passive perception, investigation, and insight. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, you guys know when someone's a crock of full shit, you can be like, I want to incite that. Yep. Yeah, it's the weakness of the <laughs> skill like, system. Like, come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is. It is a weakness. It's just, you don't need a passive insight being like, your character understands he's lying to you. It's just like, well, me as a person understood you were lying to me. <laughs> but anywho, moving on. So anyone with a passive perception 18 notices that the world distorts for only a brief moment. Wait, what? 
Let's do the time warp again. Whoa, yeah, I felt this. So what happens? Like I'm like, oh, just like, what's going on here? I left my chair. That's what happened. Did the chair actually cause this rupture? I'm thinking. I'm kidding. I'm not that idiotic. <laughs> Perfect. Commit Jack. to but, it. But no, don't commit to that. <laughs> <laughs> commit to it. I'll go and throw the chair again. There we go. Why, why would you go to throw the chair again? You saw me throw it to great effect. Mm -hmm. Kidding. Anyway. In the same retrospect, upon the world being distorted, you also get a chill down your spine. Oh, shoot. Is this a vi Does anybody below an 18 notice anything? Anyone below an 18? So let's go with above a 14 would be able to get the chill. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, no. Boris got a chill. Okay. But Boris yeah, also just... No, you didn't feel shit because you have cold immunity. <laughs> yeah, Boris I know, Boris just filled the room with ice. He's like, man, feels pretty good in here. It feels a little chilly. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, so either way, um, can I understand what this is trying to resemble or what this is trying to mean? Is there like an arcana or some type of check I can do? Other than the Let's go with an investigation from you. Okay. Roll me. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, Chuck. You uh, you understand that it's a really bad feeling, and it's kind of the same feeling oh, no. that you've gotten when other powerful beings have come into your existence. Oh. I was just about to say, we do know that uh, the God Killer shows up at some point here. Oh, so no. Don't say that. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm like, you know, I look one Boris didn't win a one-on-one -on -one with him. Maybe two Boris. <laughs> I, thought they'd I, I don't really think that that's not how that works, unfortunately. But are you two Boris's in a trench coat? I. You know what? Yeah, does, I can't say. Does it. someone have a trench coat, by the way? That trench coat a... would have to be at least <laughs> fourteen feet long. Yeah. The biggest trench coat in the world. Well, Boris is standing at like eight feet, so if I you go, blanket. you know, and he's not like fully sit, so I, I guess you could get away with like twelve, but still, Boris is eight and a half feet tall. Yeah, so. something stupid. I like think that. Boris needs to dress like Doctor Strange from the comics, with like that really like Victorian era, <laughs> like you know, rich man attire with like the cape and you know. Boris would rip it too quickly. Like that. It's called a gentleman. You're trying to describe a gentleman. Boris is anything but Actually, gentle. I'm trying to describe more like Dracula from Castlevania, but I guess gentleman works. That's too. a gentleman right there. Boris is anything but gentle. Uh, so, okay. Oh, but he is a man, so he's halfway there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, my oh, friend. <laughs> that was, it's, it's your that boy. Was why is he hey, coming up next oh to Boris? Look, look, he's your Hold friend. on. Uh, Hold that just on. Seems like no. justice to me. I don't know about you. That's <laughs> not actually there, right? What is take that? Him away. That's the god killer. Why is he there? I just want to say hello to you. <laughs> yeah, hey, not, how you doing? He, he's not appearing there. As a matter of are fact, you he's... Are you here to talk to me about my ex car's extended warranty? <laughs> <laughs> so, as a matter of fact... From uh -oh. the sky itself, he lands in almost superhero landing in a way. We oh, that's so oh, cool. Man. Maybe that's him and the legend fight fight era. I, had, I would have had a perfect view of that. It's time to be legendary, Boris. I'm hoping that the uh, he legend looks around just like for one just one a moment. This dude. Pauses and goes, "I'm not supposed to be here." Yet, <laughs> I'm here now. Someone is messing with this. He notices Chuck in his gaze and goes, oh, I feel exhilarated as if I was supposed to fear you. That must be why I've called here. Oh, no! I feel nothing <laughs> but excitement from the fight that I expect <laughs> from you. Oh, shoot. Uh... Oh, no. Chuck, at this time, your character is able to understand that something is awry, something is amiss, 
because you feared him in a separate timeline. However, this one seems to be affected in some way to mistaken it for excitement of combat. Well, you, you have any reaction wait, wait, wait. Are you telling yeah. me it's a backfire? I, I fear him from the future. Which Is this like good. a backfire on that fear? Oh no. To Chuck's understanding, he believes so. Oh, you must feel great right now, Chuck. I'm the, on the bait right now. I'm going to go up the statue now. Crawl <laughs> 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 Yeah, just get behind my chair. Guys, I'm going to interrupt before I forget. Uh, Tristan, Brian, Chuck, Gabby says hi. Hey. Carry on. Hi. Hey, did you, is your hex still available, by the way? I need you to... Yeah. Yeah, please All tell right. us your hex is available. Boris, I'm going to drop a nuke on him. Next time it's his turn. Don't I worry. Need, need, this? I need votes for a stat. To I'll be right back. I'm getting a drink. Okay. Need Very your vote first. Frozen, frozen. You might need it. Thirty. Oh, like, uh... Thirty. He's Luis. Thirty. Hopefully, when he's terrible. Time at. to single target my life. Oh, uh, let's see what we can do. Indomitable oh, frig. No. Oh, old lady, our lady died. Aww. All right. Frozen, frozen in token. Hey, how how did that guy move? How many feet did he move? Which way? guy? This one? Yeah. Oh, it was all within his movement that he has. How many feet? Did that turn into? He was able to move the fifteen feet. The fuck? Did do the math on that? What the fuck? The fuck? You see a fucking fifty move speed? Sure does. Fuck. Well, I did everything I could. Slow him down. On well, any other enemy, it would have been phenomenal for that five feet. Fuck. Well, okay. Rip. Now the uh, damage of stuff. Woo! All right, so three of those for that. All of those missed. Wow, that is phenomenal. Uh, Tristan, do you have mirror images on or no? Yes. Well, you have so to rolls the... anyways. Yeah, but how it actually goes is first is so I. I, I... So how mirror image works is first they roll a one d twenty to see if they would if, if the attack would hit me or the clone, hmm. and then let me go back and read it real quick. But your cloak of displacement roll... adds disadvantage unless you're hit, anyways. No, so let me read through it real quick for you. So each time a creature targets me with it uh, with an attack during the spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack uh, instead targets one of your duplicates. If no, you no, have no, no, three no, duplicates, not mirror image, not mirror image, your cloak, your cloak of displacement. Yes, but does that also apply to my Im mirror images as well? Oh God, which one takes precedence? Which one's cloak figured takes first? Takes precedence is why I'm asking. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's going to give you maximum value then. And I am correct in saying that the first attack, unless it actually hits, is at disadvantage, yes? Yes. Okay, so it's the 17, so it's just the one. So now I'm rolling to see if it actually hit you or a mirror image, and that is a three for that roll. 
Okay. Oh. So. I think that hits. Yeah, that hits. All right. So that physically went through cloak of displacement, and then it went through your mirror images. So this would have deactivated your cloak of displacement. But since it's the only attack you're going to get this round, it reactivates in the next round. Anyway. Yep. So now he's going to attack you. You're going to take five necrotic and 12 slash. The thing before you is a zombie knoll. If you guys okay, have forgotten so 16 what that, damage. Yep. Just in case if you have forgotten what that is. Oh, God. Yep. All right. We need two power. Crisis! Crisis, clone yourself. Hey, Brian. I need... I'm just, is this a save? I, I have to double check something. So, those gnolls by me in Crisis, did they take the radiant damage on their turn? Or yeah, at the start, of, they the, start yes. of their turn from his feature. From being in there? Okay. Yep. Like you had them save and everything? Yep. All right. I was, I was talking to Gabby, so I wasn't sure. Thank you. We are not gonna make it. Oh. Huh. Oh. That's sad. What's happening. Do, do, do. That is. What do you need from me? Do, do, do. That's not on you. That's. <laughs> oh. Tell me some of it gets on uh, gets on Oz. <laughs> he picks up this townsfolk and decapitates him with his large sword. Oh no. Don't fucking <laughs> tell me. Holds uh -huh. up the head and screams. Nope, everybody has advantage for our lives. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, do you want to work and help me kill this thing? Can we ask this the, one. We ask the angel lady to take us back. <laughs> I don't want to be here no more. This one takes yeah. his attack at crisis. Oh, what is this horse crap? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's a double. It was so bad. He fucking, he fucking commits the die. Sepku. <laughs> Goodbye. His sword, old and withered, hits Crisis's mighty armor and shatters. Oh, his sword should hit into his eye. Like, <laughs> so bad, it just got worse. Within the confusion, the shaman is still able to activate his fun little tidbit, and he uses his. <sighs> magical powers of his staff it glows with a green and he chants out some words that unless you're able to speak nolish you are unable to understand the words that he says however crisis you are able to know that you have been cursed from him oh well wow. your movement speed is halved oh my god well, okay. hold up hold up hold up hold up uh where is counter spell what's the range on that 60 feet. Am I within 60 feet of that mage? And... Oh, I figure. Yeah, probably yes. a good chance. Yeah, counter spell. I'm going to cast it at. Let's go with third level. Third level, you will have to make a roll. Okay, cool. And... You were able to break it. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yes. Shing. Fuck you yeah. and your curse, bitch. He flips you off and starts yelling at you in Nolish. I flip them off backward, or back, and <laughs> they fuck you in uh, Draconic. He turns around, wags his tail at you, and kind of puts two fingers up his ass. <laughs> he doesn't even, like, signal he's putting two... He just did did he even up. hesitate, or just... just... No. No. This isn't symbolism. He's literally just putting his fingers in his ass. This, this is a mating invitation. <laughs> I, I look back at him and take my shaft and shove it up and down in my spice bag. <laughs> well, well said. Wow. <laughs> what is this fucking exchange? <laughs> that was a very... Uh, that was something. 
thing. Brian, to be fair, I'm pretty sure you thing. started this one. So. Yeah. yeah I thought Morhisar was going to uh, be the gentleman here and just be like, yeah, okay, whatever. But no, he has no, to instigate it first. Sick of these damn knolls. <laughs> the gentleman always he finishes. He's seeking oh. knowledge by shaking it in his sugar uh, spice bag. <laughs> okay. Well done. Well done, Tristan. The staff starts saying, oh yeah, out loud again. <laughs> no, it's saying, oh no, stop, please. <laughs> I don't need See, this oh, anymore. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh. Mecco, oh, great. I know you're what? a father, but please hold back on the dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what a practice. Us dads can't help it. Can I have, can I think of barrels in front of me? Hey, Ryan. Before, wait, hold on. Did I tell you I learned how to make holy water the other day? Yeah. All you gotta do is feel a dad a joke incoming. No, no one. Okay. I heard the ha ha in the background. Somebody was impressed. <laughs> And you guys suck. It's almost as bad as my fear of getting close to calendars. I'm afraid if I get too close, I'll have my heart broken. You know, because their days are numbered. Your days are numbered now, deceptive creeps. So. Alright, who goes next? As the gnolls are, you know, have Yanagru show up, scream. You have a couple more screaming gnolls on the other side. A few more show up around. You have a fun little tidbit. I'm going to actually stop my screen for a moment just so I can get this right. Oh, God. Oh, hey, boy. I do not need you like, guys seeing. Like it. It's a little bit dark on me. I'll just put it in the, in the freezer. Darn it. Oh, hey, Gabby. I just realized this like boss knoll guy we're fighting, he kinda looks like you. Oh. Oh. That's wow. rough. Dude. That's very nice. You just say hey Navi. You haven't presented it to me yet. What the heck? I made some changes. Do you notice them? That hey, it's the lady. the lady. I noticed one of the With changes. Person. It's the strongest mage ever, lady person. You it's see gonna be a, it's quick... gonna be a badass two v one duel with the legend and her versus the god killer. 2v1. Wait a minute. Are you clear? Every, everyone, else, everyone else is just completely like. No, I thought, Bor I thought Boris, Boris. I thought Boris and other Boris were going to have a 2v1. That's what I thought too, but apparently <laughs> that not. That was the plan, they're but in, they're here now. Apparently Owen got his uh, attention. There's a flash of light, and the mage appears before you. Everything mm -hmm. around you, except for the players, has stopped. Motionless. Whoa. You see her take a moment to look around. Contemplate a few things. And go... You guys fucked up hard! Yeah. It's pretty bad. Could have been worse. But... Uh. I do not believe that it could have gone any worse than it has. Borders made a friend, he's gonna high five himself. We have cursed the lands, we have let the mayor onto us, investigated the, him. The mayor, the, is, we discussed the mayor is about to kill all of the people, the this townsfolk. Is, Oz is going, Oz is going to I don't think it could go much worse. But, but I don't understand. What I don't understand here is why is he standing before you? Mm. And she's pointing at yeah. the god killer. That wasn't uh, us. How uh, is Boris didn't do that one? I think he uh, was he was drawn here by uh, Owen. Drawn? 
What I was gonna stop and make say. Any sense. I was gonna stop and say, say that this just had. Perhaps it's my hate toward him, but this has Malar's signature written all over it. Hey, want to have a passive perception of twenty-two? No. No. <laughs> you have to give me a, a roll for that. You see the mage. Stabbed in the back by the mayor himself. Pierced <gasps> through the heart. I don't thought tell me we're stuck here. The face of the mayor melts off and you see a familiar figure. No it's fucking way. Fucking Malar. Oh my god. Is this? No. It's Malar. It's fucking Malar. Are you Oh my god! You <laughs> son of a <sighs> bitch! I was hoping for Larry Bot, but... <laughs> Larry Bot. Larry Bot is like the big bad evil genius of the whole thing. You see, Yale let out a silent scream, turns to black, and falls into ashes. Oh, wait, no, we send us, fucked wait, up, no guys. send us back first. You start to see the world around you crumble down. Malar still wearing the skin of the mayor, lets out a slight chuckle with a shitty grin and vanishes before your eye. Ugh. Time resumes. But the world... Wait, time resumes with the world's crumbling around us? Yes. Oh, no. We gotta figure out a solution, guys. Hey, um, yo, God killer, dude. No can you solution. help us out? I'm pretty sure we're dead. <laughs> I got one solution. Unless but somebody's Oz a level fucking to... 60 fucking mage, I don't think we're getting out hey, of Hey, Owen, oh, how many bullets you got <laughs> in, that, in that gun of yours? Is, hold on, Oz is oh, gonna no. look around. I can I tell if the others can see this? Like, the people in the town can see it falling apart? Are you at the god killer? None of them seem to have any mind of what's happening around them. Pretty sure it's just us because we're only in here via the spell, whereas these people are actually here in this time. So, like, this world collapsing not. really is probably just the spell that sent us here collapsing. Yes. So, we just gotta find a way to get out. In Our a certain amount of time. Kana check to see if that's what's going on. What's your added? Plus eight. So, 26. You're able to tell that there is one physical point that you can get to that will allow you to exchange out of this world. Where? To Tristan's statue, knowledge, he knows that it's on the actual exit to the world. Does Tristan uh, announce this? Oh, the place we are. <clears throat> um, let me check out message because I don't want to go and openly say this out loud. Um, where is... is well, uh... Oh, I, I actually don't have message prepared. Oh. The only thing that you notice from the townsfolk, truly, that everyone can see, is they don't even realize that the mayor is gone. Like, at this point, are we really worried about hiding stuff from them? <laughs> no, I wasn't more so worried about them seeing what we were doing. It was more of me worrying about fucking God Slayer knowing what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> you know what? That's reasonable. <laughs> I mean, I'm, in, I'm the bait right now, so it's 1v1 now. It was just 2v1. How many of us... How many of us are in the party right now? One, two, three... Five. Six. Hey, question. Does uh does Boris count as two people right now? Or he if does I teleport not. one, am I teleporting both? <laughs> um like, I will make you have to take a guess on which one's the real Boris. Oh god. Good luck, Boris doesn't know which one's which right now. <laughs> would, would the real Boris please raise your hand? They both of them raise their hand. Actually, it doesn't me? matter. <laughs> The matter. I was just curious because <laughs> I'm telling you, doppelganger rules apply. Whichever one makes it out, makes it out. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I can just dip and leave all y'all with one of my legend abilities if I really wanted to. Can I, can I, mean, I hug you? I could, you scatter, I could just scatter the whole party to the exit point. So You could, or I could use teleport to do that. Do whatever you need to do, but yeah. Yeah, so more Hazar is just gonna, because I don't have message prepared, I'm just gonna yell out as loud as I can. We need to leave immediately. The exit is on the other side of town. I cast teleport as a... It's an action, isn't it? Of course it is. Is an issue as, thing right as you scream that, you see a couple of the townsfolk, the weaker ones, the women, fall to their knees and start crying. And you can slightly hear under their breath because you're close to the Morhazar. They have abandoned us again. We have been abandoned, forgotten. Good. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you have. Bye. Yep. You're sorry. Dead. <laughs> you ain't real. You're my head. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Uh, We're continue. back to the Onward. top. We're back to the top. As a matter okay. of fact, your arcana is enough to know that you have exactly 15 seconds, which is two full actions for each character to make it to that point. Oh, okay. You said how How long do we have? Everyone turns gets each. two turns. Yeah, so... Yeah, but Morthar wouldn't know. Hey, two turns and we need to be there. You know, <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I said 15 seconds. All right. We have 15 seconds to be on the other side of town and out to, to leave, but, or else it will close. Brian, I, so we need to run! I know, it's, I know it's out of turn order, but I really w want to do something with that information, and it's an action. Yep, so. Resume action. Uh, proceed with. I have to keep it in torn, turn order. No. Or we'll have just utter chaos if everyone can go whenever they want. I'm just gonna ask. Nobody fuck with where I'm standing. Yeah, right. I think teleportation is oh, our and... only option because I think even if we full dashed, we wouldn't make it in time. You also have all that guck in the middle. Yeah, exactly. And houses on fire in the north. Speaking of which, yep. the fire is spreading even further. Yeah, I'm guessing you got the plan, so. I got some plan. Yeah, got us out, so. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead, Owen. You heard. We got, like, 20 seconds to get there. Okay. Uh, and I'm like, I look down there, and I'm like, there's no way possible that I can do it, so I'm just going to keep holding out here. Uh. Yeah, I'll take the shots on Yahangu. That's it. You're gonna take your first shot against him. Alright, yeah. so that one does hit. Alright. I'm gonna give him a familiar taste. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. Yep. Uh, Alright, he's gonna use his reaction on you. I need a wisdom save. Okay. Nice. Hey, right, congratulations. You were able to resist the blood rage. Oh, I would love blood rage, actually. <laughs> you attack the nearest character to you. Uh, Which would be old man. Legend. legend <laughs> would would be kill legend. <laughs> yeah. You would kill legend. He'd break <laughs> you over his knee. Right, maybe maybe you should attack something else. It's fine. I'll at least, <laughs> at least put my superiority dice. To try to um, do menacing attack again on him. Oh God! He needs to pass a DC wisdom save of eighteen. Fine. Brian. 
Brian's dead. Oh. oh. <laughs> Bye, yeah. Brian. Oh, okay. We With... win! The DM... <laughs> DM died, players win. <laughs> <laughs> Brian has resurrected. What did you say? <laughs> uh, he needs to pass a DC wisdom save of 18. Very well. Uh, right. uh, wisdom. Oh yeah, he passed that easy. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Uh, yeah, and then basically, I'll take some shots near Morhazar after that. The one that's closest to him. Very well. Pa 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 pow! Almost another double oh. one. <laughs> I don't even have to oh. roll for this. Boom. Okay. There you go. And that's the end of my turn right there. Just... All right. Next player. More. All right. Um. Let's go with the good old. Um. I'm gonna Ray use my Frost. reaction to tell more his art to to what get out of here while he can. I have no way to get out of there. Like it's either gonna be somebody's gonna cast a spell to get us all out, or we're dead. There's no way we're gonna run across to that exit in time. So I'm just gonna try to deal with the guy in front of me. Gotcha. What's your added? Oh, so, uh. Uh, plus 12. Uh, it's not going to be enough. Oh, it's a net one. <sighs> but it's plus 12, so it's 13, so it's alright. Yeah. You cast your spell, and the spell goes in between the holes within the zombie creature in front of you. Completely missing. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Good luck, have fun, don't die, guys. <laughs> now it's my turn? Yes. Mm-hmm. in action this is this Brian dumb question which of these is which of the people is it that they're leaving us again da 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 these two And Crisis is closest to me. Yes. Yeah, I'm like right next to you. Yeah. You could literally pickle his tickle if you wanted to. Jesus. I'm going to look at... I'm going to look at Crisis. I'm going to say... Elkathon de Elkathal. You get those sparkly eyes? I'm going to say... Take me before the end. <laughs> Pick wow. the bars asked for me, and then I'm going to use teleport on everyone in my party but myself. I'm going to teleport all of them to the exit. How many people can you teleport? To eight, including me. Okay. So, teleport is. That's not a roll since you can see the area. Am I right. thinking that they, they correctly? They just they get teleported there. Okay. So, you got Boris 1, Dahagru 2, Owen 3, Crisis 4, Morzar 5. Two six. You, you're sending out both of them. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, if I don't send out, the, yeah, I gotta send out both. Okay. Which one's real? Which one's real? 
<laughs> Boris can go home with his friend. Go. <laughs> And then uh, maybe you'll get laid. To... <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna turn around to the townsfolk and I'm gonna say, "Said I would be stay to help, and that's what I'm gonna do." <laughs> and then I'm going to as going to say in dwarvish, "This is my last prayer to you, Torm. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can, be that my friends." for the rest of their journey. Send the God Slayer with us. <laughs> oh, Send the God Slayer to the theater to fight himself. Oh, and God. then, let me see if I have <laughs> anything for... Yeah, bring... Who is the nearest person? Who is the nearest of the group toward me that is one of the fighters? Samurai guy? Samurai guy, I'm guessing? Yes, Samurai would be the closest. I'm a bardically inspire him. Say, say, we fight for the city till the end. Not really a city, but. <clears throat> we fight for this town till the whatever. <laughs> the raging Shut inferno up. right now. <laughs> I think that's my turn. Okay. As I vanish, I like I do this like reach out my hand thing to him. Like, <laughs> like wait. <laughs> <laughs> the hog room. Yeah, I would have teleported them like into the exit, Brian. Like, <laughs> I, they're, they're, if Goal that's post. Like, an exit in an, a, a portal of itself, they would have been. There is into no the portal. physical like, they're, they're... object there. Okay. Never mind. Wanted to make sure. All right, so there was supposedly some ground here that we would believe would be stable, though, right? Yes. All right, I'll go everybody over here, and we'll walk on to that. You have to respect Oz's choice. You're going to respect his choice. To apparently stay behind and handle whatever this is. You know they're not real, right? <laughs> they're already dead where we come from. We don't know what might have happened. No, yeah, she de sure she definitely said they're like all dead. Over like you know the shit of war, right? Some of them might have escaped. We didn't know that. Like she she said, a majority of them are dead. So yeah, like, it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be where like like Oz is gonna be Spock maybe, and he's gonna be super old and all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Oz as a geriatric changeling. <laughs> All right, I mean, we, I can't. So, yeah, I walk onto that portal ground or whatever. So, you take a step forward, yes. and you see six dots appear below you. Each dot is colored differently. When you step onto it, you see that one of them fades away. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. There's, There's room for five more people here. Or no. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. Cat's perfect. I guess... I guess Boris and his eyes, uh, new friends, are hopping on there. Yep. When the first Boris walks onto the pathway, a light fades. When the second Boris walks onto the pathway, nothing happens. Oh no! Yay! My my buddy gets a gets a free ride. That's what Boris oh, on. No! The thing is gonna not unlock unless we have. <laughs> 
I think the other Boris is gonna have to like go handle this. But the other okay, so then uh, is it Boris's turn? Can Boris's doppelganger go? Yes. And do some cool stuff. Cool. I, as he as he pass as he passes me by, I, I uh, pat him on the shoulder and say, "Good luck." Good luck so Boris. Boris's doppelganger is gonna <laughs> use his legend training. <laughs> yes. yes. He's going to legend step twice through Flex. all of this back into the combat. So now that he's back there. He's going to use his bonus action, so Oz takes another action right now. He's going to teleport back. <laughs> teleport your ass out of here. Uh, oh to... And then he's going to prepare a reaction uh, where he a, he gains 10 AC until the start of his next turn. Jeez Louise. <laughs> it's over. It's that fucking amazing. And that's like a small amount of what he can, what that can do. Oh, uh, I mean, for the record, uh, I have one teleport. Yeah, I know. That was it. I'm not teleporting out of here. And uh, secondly, Oz has no idea what's going on over there. So, and he knew there was. So, I'm probably just thinking to myself, "Oh, hey, hey Boris is back. Ganger to help." So you don't know if it's a doppelganger or not. You don't. This could just be Boris. That's I mean, true. for all we know, it is Boris. But I, yeah. also know that there, I also know there were two Borises. But you gotta think, would Oz know if Boris is smart enough not to jump back and just send his doppelganger? No, Oz would know if he's smart enough not to do that. Oz knows that Boris is one to respect the wishes of his comrades. I don't Oz's know, man. For them to survive. Well, either way, underground, is he not? Either way, go ahead and take one of your turns because you can do that now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, decide what. Or rather, it's it's more specifically that. one action, not a full turn. However, if you so decide to use your action to use a bonus action instead, that's fine. So you can basically action surge somebody else. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. pretty heroic oh yeah. man you yeah, can that's action surge me so you can action surge me again oh what have i created uh, oh no i have a much better idea of what i could have done now teamwork. i don't know <laughs> man i have a much better idea of what i could have done now i'm set it's okay it's okay <clears throat> Okay. Uh, what's the what's going on here? Cause uh, I wasn't expecting to take another turn right now. So you got to give me a second. That's what's yeah. going on. <laughs> Boris appeared and said, "Oz, fucking fight some shit." <laughs> he has heroically inspired you to move now. <laughs> um. So, if you're going to be a little bit contemplating, we could do Crisis, unless you have something that's going to affect his mm. turn. So, Mika, what would you be doing on your turn? Yeah, go ahead. I'm the... Oh. How many... After this turn, do I have another turn? Yes, yeah, so you all get two turns. All together. Oh, oh man. It wasn't... Did I get the impression that Oz intends to remain here no matter what? <clears throat> That's the impression I had had. Yeah. As did Boris. Well, all right. So if that's good, I'm going to step onto the dots. One of the six dots vanishes. All right. Do I have, can I make an investigation to see what the hell that, 
means. What? Well, Investigation on oh. what exactly again? Like the dots disappearing and their implication and their correlation. You can correlate that it acts as sort of a key where all must be gone to activate transfer. Okay. Are you fucking... We need him. Are you fucking I, kidding? Uh, <laughs> that's what I was worried yeah, about. Yeah, so Josh has to come. We that's figured what I was out. About. Okay, so I'm going to dimension door to Josh. <clears throat> yeah. What's the range of dimension door? 500 feet. Okay, what you have more than enough. Though? The door vertical, like horizontal, underneath him. So you fall. Uh, I do anything fucky with it? That'd be really cool. I don't. I don't think you can. I think it's literally you just spawning in a door. And doors are only vertical. Y'all, yeah, well, anyways, I I go like right the hell next to him. The dimensional trap door. Now this allows you to freely travel between the two points. Yes. Um. Yeah, yeah. I just, it's just a straight teleport. Okay. I don't even have to see it. I just have to know where it is, but I can, I assume I can see this. Yes, you can. No, know it specifically. Yep. All right. Um. What do I do for my bonus action? Can I do anything useful? You could say something. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta come with us. Uh, the, we can't leave without you. No, like literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, uh, this isn't some sort of like like amazing plea. Like we need you in our lives. Like we can't I'm leave. I'm gonna take that action. The action is to look at the people, townsfolk. I'm going to. Who is the who? At least visually, looks to be the one that's the most ready to fight out of the townsfolk that don't that don't have a solid weapon obviously the samurai has his samurai stuff but like honest to god none of them said that the townsfolk had a bunch of makeshift weapons yeah like farming tools and whatnot but most of them are lowered and they're almost accepting their fate but you give them a weapon they're they're, they're not gonna use it <laughs> They're going to just let them die. That's what's about to happen. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to look at Crisis gonna say i'm sorry and then i'm gonna cast tiny hut on as many of them as i can it's nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the hut i'll yell back at places just grab anybody <laughs> break the dimension <laughs> you technically can fit all nine of them in it all right good job Samurai boy, bring him. <laughs> and then I guess we'll go. Or the uh, doppelganger doesn't. They can go. All right, so we have to wait for our next turn to, to like, leave, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have to open. We don't all get one shotted by God Slayer. I mean, I shot. I mean, all right. Boris's doppelganger has 27 AC right now, so. I do yell at him. Oh, my chance. Yeah, all the way. Let's see if he shows off some of the other stuff I can do. Master, Master Obi Wan is here. <laughs> now, wait, hold on. See, here's the problem: is Obi Wan didn't make it past his fight with the big bad, so. <laughs> it's okay. I think the we all know what's about to game. happen. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so I gotta make this based on the dice. Oh, God. Is he gonna show off some of the other stuff that that I can do? He's able to show off at least one thing. So he's oh, going to literally 
kick the God Slayer into the sky, jump up with him, <laughs> and then put his foot on his back and slam him back into the ground, smashing <laughs> the ground, shattering the walkway and everything else. God Slayer, basically with his ass in the air. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so cool. Let's go. Uh, Legend takes off the top of his robe. You see battle scars like crazy, and you see him or get into it... a fighting stance with the come at me. Boris is doppelganger is gonna yell. Like Boris like is a uh... wait, wait, wait. If it, yes. if it was w- those robes hit the ground like a ton of bricks. Yes. <laughs> Boris is gonna to yell this to is fucking master, Dragon Ball Z. Fucking, if I ever saw it, <laughs> Go, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Was this, this guy is literally Dragon fucking master, master, master Roshi. <laughs> master Roshi. <laughs> Boris is fucking doppelganger is gonna yell up to him and be like, "Show him who's the legend, master." Give him toe fingers. He's such, he's such a fanboy. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, Boris is one hundred percent a fanboy. <laughs> Like if Boris made it out of this, he and he and he knew the legend like survived. He's looking like that's what's happening. That's Boris, <laughs> do you have the Kamehameha wave? My, my. <laughs> Eric Bomo. I may or may not have something similar to that. <laughs> Are you fucking? <laughs> <dude? laughs> I wish I was. I swear, guy is gonna die <laughs> like a legend. Okay then. Literal Master Yo- Roshi in fucking India. All right, cool. <laughs> Take notes, Bard. Next song. What notes is the Bard gonna take? You'll never be that badass. Like, <laughs> well, that samurai dude is fucking Jesus dead. Christ, I'm not in for a good time right now, am I? Well, I'm not attacking you. They're attacking samurai. Dude. No, this is the Oz one. I was going to do oh, Samurai oh. Dude afterwards. Oh. Any of those ranged attacks at all? 20. No, they're all melee. None of them are targeting Boris' Doppelking? No. They're ta- targeting the Wimpy and Weak one. That's the way that they work, buddy. Ah, uh, hell. I should have ta- oh. teleported Kill in. Kill the, the Weak, rip off head, scream, buff. I was, like, I was like a single degree off. I should have come in on the other side of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just put the door between you and the enemies. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm going to actually retcon a little bit of that damage because I forgot buddy's blade is broken. So minus 11 out of that. So it's only going to be a plus 9 on top of that. So 62. Oh, did they take their damage when they started their turn, by the way? I have not rolled that. It's what, 5d8? Yeah, they're still going to live, and it's a save wisdom. One's going to make it anyway, so. I hurt, like, a lot. Yeah, well, good thing we're leaving. <laughs> and, since a melee attack happened, casting a curse what? against you. Oh, my God. Can it not? Can it not? Yeah, I'm definitely not in range this time to counter spell. Sorry for that. You are now cursed, I, now I Josh. Wish I'd use another one of my reactions. You are cursed. Your speed is halved. That's oh, fine. Oh. We can worry about that later. Just yeah. Until the curse is removed. Thankfully, we got a paladin that can deal with that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I gotta do samurai guy over here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh god. Horus, please live. You have a nice ass too. <laughs> hey wait, we're in the thing of that statue, right? So I can subtract one damage from whatever would just yeah, like everyone has yes. attacks. Epic. So that's minus yeah, four. Yeah, that's minus four. Good job self advocating <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm not at twenty three HP, I'm at twenty seven. Fuck yeah. He's like, oh, fuck yeah. Well, we got this. All right. Samurai guy. Looks like he's slightly getting overrun over there. Taking a few of the hits from their long spears and swords that they got on their person. Whips. All that fun stuff. 
Also, Brian, I gotta make sure. Those guys took their radiant damage, right? Because they started their turn? Yes, they did. Okay. Just making and sure. And one of them made a save. They should be dead. They're they not. They need to die. Too bad. I might be able to fix <laughs> this all in one go. It's gonna be... Hopefully you might gonna, be able to. It's gonna look awesome. Alright. The townsfolk aren't going to make their move. Because they see that nothing is going after them at the moment. They're and also in a dome. Yes. And they're, they're in a also, bubble. Yeah, and they're also in a, like, a stage of uh, utter despair. So they wouldn't really actually notice it and just waiting for the end to come. Yeah. All right. Well, Last I don't see how turn. that's changed. Owen. Hey. Oh. Looks like I'm going inside the circ the square. One of the dots vanishes. I go out of the square. By the way, when somebody walked out, like one of the, the dots reappear. I go okay. in the square. One of the dots disappear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in my turn. <laughs> if I had there a is long three long. dots disappeared. <laughs> Good test. Mm -hmm. More hazard. Walk in square. One of the dots disappear. Go out square. Walk in square. Walk out square. Walk in square. Walk out square. Hey, Macarena. One foot in and one foot <laughs> out. <sighs> <laughs> All right, Oz. Butter. In Dwarvish, I'm going to say, damn it, I'm useless, and then I'm going to walk through that portal. That crisis has opened up. Oh, no, that doesn't work that way. No. I got you, though. It doesn't oh, work like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I misunderstood. All right. I'll get us out of here. Don't um, worry. Stick with me. Is drink uh, drinking a potion of healing maybe? Is that a action or a bonus that, action? That is an or... action. Potions are you heal right. full and take an action. Right. Potion of healing, maybe. I'm going to drink it. What did you get? Do, do, oh, do, God, do. This is my jack whole thing. So I heal back to full, yes? No, no, no. <laughs> the, the maximum <laughs> amount of the potion. Is what oh. I was saying. So it's uh, like it 2d4, 3d4. You do like yeah. the max 4 and then it's the plus the whatever it is. It's a, uh, it's it's a greater. Of those. It's a greater. Greater. The graders. Yeah, so those are 44 plus 4. So that's 20. 16. My math, my math's real bad. Uh, my math's real bad. <laughs> You're off by 4. That's not bad. Wait, what is it? Total 20. 20. 20 Mako, it's going to be a dispel. That's what number 16 is going to be. Gonna don't, fucking, don't fucking say that. <laughs> so what's number 16, Brian? Your AC is up by one. Oh, for one hour. Okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, oh, God. It's uh, good. All right. Next. Or are you still alive? Inspire me. In Inspire square. me with your bonus action. I, I can't do that. I guess Oz could if he didn't uh, in his turn, maybe. Oz, uh, so if you. Before you end your turn, Oz, inspire me. In case. Just oh, in we're case. leaving, but yeah, all right. I'll bardically inspire Crisis. Yay. Okay, just in case. Just in Inspired. case. Right. I uh, will Tasha's mind whip on you know, the demon, the god. Yeah. You make it. Just an give him some sass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just lash him real quick before we get out of here. Please hit, hit. Just, <laughs> just a little don't stat. Make sure you don't get blood rage on. Yeah, well, he takes uh, 3d6 psychic cut in half. His in is junk. Oh god. Don't, don't blood rage. <laughs> Man, if I blood rage, I'm going to start Nothing with, like uh, that. There's nothing like that. You're fine. 
You have to realize uh, the legend is holding him down. Yeah, he's prone right now. So maybe like if he can't, okay. <clears throat> he's probably still catching his bearings again. He was just like 40 feet up in the air a moment hey, ago. If I start going blood rage, I'm going to start like, you know, praising corn. You know, he's not in this universe. This is corn. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Go for the skull throne. <laughs> I shall bless my weapon to ensure that every bullet kills a heretic. Uh, uh, the list of coin masters is incomplete. You can help by expanding it. <laughs> come on, brothers. Let's go murder some heretics. All right. Anyway, corn there. Get all 40k on Take his chill pill on the back seat. <laughs> so yeah, if that's the Hargu's turn, it's time for Boris's doppelganger's line of adventures. <laughs> his short yeah. life. Yeah. So <laughs> Boris is gonna dart uh, over towards Horus. Uh, he's gonna tap Silence's like, shoulder on the way there, like, let's fucking help him. You see Silence is preparing a spell. No, I, I don't tap him on the shoulder then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then Boris is going. Uh, Boris's doppelganger is going to use one of his rage things and uh, do a cone of cold uh, with as many enemies as he can hit without hitting. All right. Boris. So you can you can hit those six, five. Yeah. So day got to do a DC eighteen con save. One makes it. Cool. The so do. 8d6 ice, 66 bludgeon, so 14d6 total. Uh. Oh, fuck. Okay, so the one that made it takes half that. And if one else does a big die. Nice. Uh, and then I guess that's really all I can do in a turn. So that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Horace. Horace, you also got a nice ass. <laughs> okay. You see him give you a that, slight that wink. <laughs> Not taking his eyes off combat completely. Listen, I'm telling you, if Horus is, you know, lives somehow, him and him and Boris could have could have done some some great things. <laughs> like alternate Boris, I mean, we did already establish that this was what a, a few hundred years ago, right? I think Listen. that Boris's doppelganger will turn out to be Boris's ancestor. Oh, God. <laughs> Boris's doppelganger will turn out to be Boris. Boris's <laughs> doppelganger is the, the first person who founded his clan with Oh, Boris. my God. With you got kicked out of your own clan. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys are, like, really twisting his backstory here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's Boris really already got kicked out of his own clan for stupid shit. True paradox here. Here, our Maybe it was a prophecy, that. like, because they had to kick you out, otherwise they would, like, just unmake themselves. Oh, that's why they, they, they didn't have to kick me out. But yeah, they could have just let, like, themselves deleted by the time stream, but yeah. They had a tradition of kicking people out. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. You look too much like the maker. We have to send you yeah. away. <laughs> We're taking this too far. Us, okay, next he told one. Us no, one day. No, he was told one day. <laughs> we day. digress. So I never showed up. Anyways, yeah. All right. Uh, are you, what the hell happened to my stream? Okay, there it is. All right. Um, um, I uh, I grab. You need to make a wisdom save to remember what you were going to do. Yeah. I grab, I grab uh, Oz. Okay. I move. How far away do I need to move? Say AOE on this. 
Yeah, I move right into the middle of uh, those assholes. Oh, yeah, let me know how far away I am, by the way, from the portal. 50. Oh, that's not nothing. Okay. Yeah, so I... I, uh, I grab Oz, move 10 feet down, like so, like towards the, that zombie one. And that's yeah, a shaman, right, but yeah. Yeah, whatever the hell, right there. Am I 10 feet away from the bubble? That one? Yeah. Are all three of those guys within 10 feet of me? Uh, yes. I, all right, and then I'm going to thunder step. To the exit. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> With us. <laughs> that is a beautiful. You're giving them like a like party. They party. just get a 3D10 thunder damage goodbye. <laughs> that is plus, a fucking. Plus one of them catches an extra 13 radiant damage, I think. <clears throat> that is a beautiful thing. Uh, which one? One, two, or three? Uh. Whichever one looks shaman. sturdiest. The uh, shaman. Yeah, shaman's going to do it. You know, All right. Hit the shaman. Shaman's Perfect. Good. You see him kind of cringe a little bit from the damage there. Upon stepping on the circle, you see that all six orbs vanish. Everything turns black. Everything turns black for all players. You feel queasy. Sick to your stomach. Sound effects included. Yeah. <laughs> that was a truck <laughs> driving by. <laughs> sounded ominous enough. Sounded oh, hey, ominous. it's the dude I gave my Wait, booze. What? Oh, and the god <laughs> killed. Oh, oh, gee, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God. The sanctuary's been compromised, apparently. How'd they get in here? Oh, she died. Yeah, she died, so... Oh, That's God. right, she did. Hey, can I... And guys, outside of game for a minute, I have to ask. This guy... The god killer, right? Uh-huh. Lore-wise, did he kill gods just for the hell of it? Is yeah. Is there a reason behind the gods he killed? No, nope. He's a devil. They just go and kill for the hell of it. No, you got that do. wrong. He's a demon. His and he's all right. about proving all his strength. And what better way to prove your strength than to kill a god? And people and doubted him. And then people him. doubted him, so he went and did it again. So he has killed two gods. <laughs> Listen, I feel like that uh, that other uh, dude next to him, like, I gave him some booze. So, like, and some good booze, too. You also tried to push him off the edge. He doesn't well, know he that. Know he was that. drunk. Yeah. He didn't know that. All right, so yeah, we just came. What's happening? Hey, uh, I'm gonna be that guy and just say, have we tried to ask this guy if he'll help us take out Malar? Uh, we asked him for help once, and he said, "Yeah, I'll give you like a minute, and then I'll come kill you." <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, there's room if, for if negotiation. You try and so yeah, if you want to try and convince him to help us hunt down a god. Didn't he give us ten minutes? Now hold on, it was ten minutes. Hold on. So this room for negotiation. So you said Hold he on. killed the second god because he people doubted him. Yes. They, they were like, the first one was a You fluke. know what? I don't feel like he could beat Malar. I'm just saying it. <laughs> I don't feel like he could beat this god named Malar. I don't think he could do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me describe your surroundings first before you guys initiate to say. what's going on. So you guys are all technically collapsed onto the floor as if you were in a sleeping state. And you wake up to see that the powerful mage there, Yaliel, is bloody, dead, on the floor. You see that the dais that was holding in the sword has crumbled and fallen. The sword is now laying on the side there. Lavina is still a husk laying next to it. The doors collapsed and destroyed in front of you with Yanagru walking in, almost snarling, ready, itching for a fight. You see the guardsmen, as well as the three demons under his command, the Bizzle, Bizzle, Bizzulies? I don't know, fucking the disease fuckers. 
walk in and you see he's at attention and sobered up. You see that there's some <clears throat> lashes of oh, his, oh poor guy <laughs> on his arms and his back. Oh, you can no. see blood yeah. dripping behind him. Oh, poor oh. guy. He should have just fallen off. <laughs> so that is what has happened. Oz is going Oz is gonna stand Oz is going to stand up immediately and he's going to push by his allies and say I can give you a better fight than fighting us. Aren't you like super weak right now? Be uh -huh. back. <laughs> Nothing wanted... has been regained from that trip. Oh yes, I know. Uh, I'm so well, uh, horrible. I'm, fuel I'm fueled by I, I guess rage? I don't know. I'm fueled by something right now. Oceans. <laughs> mm, I would uh, be careful. Maybe. Uh... Are we are we in in combat yet or no? Technically, but I'm allowing you guys a little bit of free time to kind of do what you want. All right, I'll scoop up that sword. It looks. <clears throat> oh. Well. Thanks for... Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. The sword rejects you, <laughs> pushing you back. Does, what? Does, he, know, does I, he not react to what I said? I, I guess not. I follow up on Dahargi's action here. Yanagru is looking past you, Oz, at Owen. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm still oh, on. oh, boy. It looks Come like on. you remember me. <laughs> <Or> <laughs> No one has made me fear before, so it gets my blood itching. Well, you know, it got my blood itching, but it looks like we were toyed by something greater. It matters not. I just wish for a good kill. And then, me too. And that good kill is killing a god. Yeah, I've already done that a few times. Have you ever killed a trickster god? Yeah, because he's little wormy <laughs> fuckers, bro. They're wormy little fuckers. I don't think you could take him. Why am I Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got cursed. <laughs> I don't know. He toyed with you and Art when we were in that dimensional plane. I doubt you can kill him. Wait a minute. I recognize yeah. you. And he points towards Boris. You oh, You're the fuck who inherited oh, no. the will of that shithead. Oh, no. Listen, it's a oh, working progress. Yeah, I, hold. Let me do this, and you see him pull out a bag, and he tosses a skull in oh, front no. of you. Oh no! Oh no! Well, the, as disappointing as that, as disappointing as that is, I'll be taking this now. And he puts his <laughs> the skull in his beard. <laughs> He's like, listen. Hey, you say inheritors as will. I literally, I knew the guy for like eight hours in which he beat my ass. So like, we weren't on great terms. <laughs> Matters not. You two leave here dead. Okay, but what if we didn't? I mean, to be honest, you're I mean... terrible at arguments. Now it's time to die. Certainly, there's some arrangement we could meet. You want to prove yourself. We're not worthy kills. We're not. Who's you to decide if you're a worthy kill? I feel like none other than us would know our capabilities better than anyone. Oh, the reason we'll you have... The reason you have such... Such... For this one, and I just shared to Owen, and this one was put in a position to inherit the will, and you were put into a city, a town, you were, you were not you were surprised to be in and met these two was because of an individual who has been toying with not just us, but you too. Help us kill him. And guess what? These two will happily give you the fight you deserve. So... You see the one we want dead dead? Because if... And you get the fight you truly want. Seems like a win-win to me. Oh, no. He just rolled initiative. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, while they're he's still talking, ignoring me. He is. I uh, <laughs> yeah. While they're talking, I go to try to retrieve the uh, sword that rejected the Hargu. You tried to pick up the sword. It rejects you harder than it did to Hagru. Jesus, uh, please. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. I, All right. I, I notice he's yeah. ignoring me. Can I try to pick up the sword now? Just Jeez, out of. My God, you guys. I'll go pick up the sword. Your speeds have. Don't forget. <laughs> that is all your movement. Even you were rejected by the sword. Oh my god, alright, I'm going to go pick up the sword. Using okay. a left eye. Man, I really, I really only you see one way out of this. You are not allowed to use a left eye on great. this. Can Boris try? Like, this right. is pathetic. So, yeah, gonna... Gentlemen, we are in initiative order. We've gone far yeah. enough with everyone walking up to the sword in so, combat okay. going, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's why I had to ask. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. that means Boris going first. Yes. Please go, Boris. I really, I really only see one way this is working out. Is so the door to the to the temple is it op like burst open? Uh huh. Cool. <laughs> Boris is gonna use his legend training, uh, and he's gonna try and use legend launch on on the god killer. Uh, he must make an 18th uh, strength save, or he's launched 30 feet in the direction of my choosing. Uh, his strength. Uh Give me a second. Please, oh, I know he has. Close. I know he has, he has a lot of strength. It's gonna be close. Now, did I say strength or athletics? Strength. It says strength. Specifically strength. Specifically strength. Then, in that retrospect, you have succeeded. Oh, thank God! So you have Victory. thirty feet <clears throat> towards the door. To let uh, you know, you succeeded by one. <laughs> thank God! Wow. <laughs> So he goes 30 feet oh. towards the door. Uh, for every person they hit, they take 3d6 four dam force damage, and then things they hit also have to make that strength save. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. And, and then assuming they fail, they go back and same deal. Anything they hit, they take the 3d6. Shoot. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something spicy. Okay, so that was just my my first thing. So tell me once you're done reorganizing everything. There you go. So Boris is going to go and exit the temple. He is going to do a legend jump. So he jumps 40 feet into the air. He's going to land on the God Slayer using Legend Smash. They must make a strength save of 20. Oh, God. They probably make that. He does make that. Cool. Uh, so they're not knocked prone, but they take 8d6 force damage. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, so 8d6 force damage, it looks like. Uh. Make sure. I will not fall a second time to the same trick. <laughs> uh, and then Give I'm me an going acrobatics. to... An acrobatics? Uh, plus four. Oh, wow. You were oh, able to evade him fucking... grabbing your leg. Oh, fucking God. nailed it, nerd. Uh, then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm going to do Legends Drunk Style and add 10 AC to the start of my, until the start of my next turn. Or rather, I'm going to move... I'm just actually I'm just gonna stand right there, right in the doorway. He's not getting past to my friends. Well, right. Very well. Holy shit! For my turn. Yes. Oh boy. All right. I'm gonna go pick up Lavina, Husk. Oh, she dead, man. No, <laughs> all right. Bring it to the sword and put my hand <laughs> along with her hand onto the sword. And. I'm drinking that potion, by the way. Which potion? The potion that broke the glass. You know, in the other world. Oh. Remember yeah. our first dream sequence? Dream sequence. The one that Oz got 
hijacked. Yep. That's one, right? That dream sequence where everybody, yeah, that too. He's like, oh my god, where's my notes? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Farts. Uh. <laughs> How long ago was that one? Like six months. Yeah, I had that. No, one longer than that. Long no, that's like. Time. That's actually like. Oh no, that's like nine months ago. That that's, was. That was. That was when like we first got the Avernus. When. We... Seriously, that was like. We had a dream sequence, and we were at the Beholders. That's where the scene was. I broke the the pain glasses of all of. Oh, the tapestry. That that wasn't yeah. that fog ago. You're having me flip right. backwards. <laughs> Am I thinking about it? A... You're thinking about a different time, and you oh, kind of yeah, confused right. me there, Miko. Yeah. He's talking about oh. the Beholder room when they were staring at the picture in Avernus. I was seeing the first dream sequence. Okay. All right. He's like, yes. So you're drinking the potion, Chuck? Mm-hmm. I'm going to need a con save first. Oh, boy. My con save. How's that? Let's go. Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you agree with me, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> Upon drinking the potion, you feel your body enveloped with a warm tingle. Oh. Okay. At the same time... Is it fire? Yeah. Here we go. I have no idea what this does. A fire elemental is conjured behind you. Oh my god. You okay. feel a link between it that you can command it. Oh, nice. Oh. Great. That's great. Okay. Gosh, you're hot, Mike. Yeah, hot, Mike. Dude. Dude. Uh, and I'm still gonna attempt with Levina and the sword and all that stuff. Yeah, that time. And I did roll with advantage. You did? Yep. Okay. All right. That was the 11 there. The sword has rejected you. Mm hmm. So can more... I can I investigate why the sword's rejecting people? On your turn, I'm gonna have to hold okay. off on that just so that we can keep things in yeah. order. I'm so, the hog yeah, group. Roger that. All right. When I remember the sword, when you were doing the sword roll, was that a ability check or saving throw or none of the above? None of the above. Okay. It's a role that is specifically influenced by actions, but I cannot disclose those. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll try again, if that's even a thing that you can do. You can reach out for the sword again. Okay. So, then I did that. You tried to reach for the sword and the sword rejects you. Alright, then I'm just going to move away now. Okay. Yeah. So you do know all this fun stuff is happening as Boris has just basically kicked everyone out the door. Boris, trying to give us... Yeah, if y'all could fucking help. <laughs> Like, we're not going to win. We need to get out is the goal. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I cast Stone Skin on Boris? You can. All right, then. What does that do? He has resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Mm. Very good. Very good. And then I'm done. All right, next one is Morhazar. So, by the way, if we drink the potion in the in the timeline, is it gone when we wake up? The potion that you drank within the timeline 
is gone liquid wise like the vial itself is not but the potion is okay and if i left the damnation sword in the timeline how's that the damnation is with you oh, okay cool fully charged still oh, okay cool all right so for my turn i'm gonna whirlwind on all of them dex 19 dex 19 Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Yuck, can, can, bro. Can, can I do which, a re-roll? What was, Yuck. Which one of those rolls was the, you know, roll? The last one. Yuck. Yeah, of course it was. God damn it. Well, that was a waste of a spell slot. So they take... Let's see. Oh, but you know how good it fails. So... They're still going to be stuck in it if they don't move out of it, right? Hey, yeah. Tristan. What? You said 18, yes? 19. Oh, even better. So it's all but Yanagru fails. Okay, cool. Well, at least that's decent. So um, all of them take uh, 10d6 bludgeoning damage uh, or half on a fail or on a success. And then... Um, the the rest of them that failed now get sucked up five feet in the air each turn. Now, while they are restrained, they can use an action to make a strength or dex check against the uh, against my spell save DC, which is nineteen. Yes, yes. Um. Yeah, make a strength or dex check against uh, 19. If successful, the creature is no longer restrained by the whirlwind and is hurled 3d6 times 10 feet away in a random direction. Oh my god, it's definitely dead. <laughs> so they have to go against your dex uh, strength against Whoops. your spell safe? Yep, Whoops. but that's an action, so they do it on their turn. Very well. <clears throat> All right. Next player. Which ends up being Crisis. How far away is the door? Uh, 15, I thought I was after more Hazar. Am I not? Not anymore. New, new different, initiative. Different order. You are after Crisis. You're the last one in this room. I, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm just I'm gonna man up. I just run up. Can I reach Yagnahu? Uh, Yagnahu. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. You can make it to the door. Okay. Where was I? One, two. There's left. Oh. It's hard to just hexes are fucked. Yeah, they're kind of. You can make it to the door. You're about ten feet away from him. Um. I was hoping I could make it further. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm going to Eldritch Blast him. Just walked up and just started blasting. Just started blasting. Well, your blasting is a plus what, nine? Uh, my blasting is a plus nine. You were able to beat his enchanted chain. So you did some yeah. damage. 1d10 plus 4. I got th I got two more of those coming. Oh, least, beautiful, beautiful. That one don't break his chains. Oh, uh, hey, Brian. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention those dice that rolled earlier. There were two ones. Those need to be re-rolled. <laughs> you fucking fool. There you go. So anyways, seven more damage to all of them. Yeah. All right, I can my gear and all that's gear. a that's a one d ten plus, plus four force damage, plus thirteen radiant, and he gets okay. pushed. Uh, and then I, I pull him uh, ten feet closer. You want to push him past Boris in between you two? Or onto Boris? 
Oh god, oh. that's scary. What? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> like... Does that give Boris, Boris an what's opportunity your athletics? attack? My athletics? <laughs> I have a plus eight to athletics. Even I'm on a save. I so you slide back with your Nagru. Oh god. You're just like... Crisis! The goal is to push him out! Out! <laughs> I was trying to give you an opportunity well, attack. No. Can I get an opportunity attack? Uh, you do not because he was not moving out of your range. Crisis! Oh, no. <laughs> well, that was, that was poorly conceived. We're not beating him! We have to leave! He's kind of like hunched over you. You get drool <laughs> kind of dribbling over your head. Maybe you should, we can maybe you know we can what? seal this seal this door somehow. You know what, Yanargu? You have like an out like what's your dental like routine? It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. Oh, it's actually horrendous to you. Oh god. Oh, I know. I know. You're just trying to I'm trying to butter him up. Are you talking to Yeah, this guy shits teeth. I don't know what you're talking you're gonna, about. You're going to seduce him. Listen, we'll man. Through. That twenty suited. Your teeth, <laughs> spot on. Oh, it's <laughs> quite the beauty. You see, All his right. brow goes more to a rage. Oh no! Oh, no. oh no. Hey. come on! Your teeth are horrible. I hate them. One eyebrow raised. <laughs> I got, I got your back. I'm, I'm bracing you. <laughs> All right, it's Oz. Right. Oz is gonna go over. Here, back. I gotta go to the bathroom. It, where is the sword? Is it on the opposite side of Levina? It's on the and dais. The mage's body? It's right on the yeah. dais, kind of laying down. I'm gonna walk over in between all three of them. The sword, Lavina, and Mage Lady there. I'm gonna sit down. Okay. And I'm gonna be like, well, nothing I can do now. And then I'm gonna drink that other potion. I think maybe. Heal yourself 20 you down, and you were get. You were like really down that HP. He was, yes. Seven! Let's see, what is seven? What is seven? What is seven? I'm glad I gave everybody these potions because now they're getting used. <laughs> I'll have time to use one of the potions. The doppelganger if I don't have to has to be like the best thing I've ever seen. From like complete. Oh yeah, that was incredible. I have one more. Hopefully they'll give me another another fucking doppelganger that can use the fucking legend training. <laughs> Josh, don't forget you plus one AC still assume for an hour yeah, unless yeah. it does that. Yeah. yeah. It's for an hour, so yeah, I still have it. Uh, I'm waiting for that? one of them to go badly. <laughs> really? <laughs> Anyone it's within that a... range is healed 17. He lets nice. off a burst of healing. Hey, look. I'm max HP still. Okay. Does that also include that add us? on top of what the healing potion gave me? That is correct. Woof. I'm almost back to full health. Damn. I don't think it does anything for the mage lady, does it? It does not do anything for the dead. <laughs> Pretty sure she's straight dead, yeah. What about... Yeah. Hold on, wait, what? she's dead. Her body is still intact, despite a couple stab wounds, right? Yeah. Oh, God, where are you going with this? Oh, I need an action. And you said drinking a potion's an action. Yep. <gasps> What do you want to do, though? Speak with dead. Oh. I knew it. In this oh, scenario, I'll let it be a bonus and your reaction. Cool. Listen, I have had this spell since we started this campaign, and I've been <laughs> waiting for a moment to use it. Okay. What's probably she going to the... teach us? It's you know probably... what? Go for it, buddy. I'm proud great of you. You're doing great things. You hadn't thought about your questions, did you? <laughs> uh, hold on. 
Just Google what a good I'm question. I'm seeing how many questions I can ask it. Like it's three? That was the up to five. Oh. Up to oh, five. five. So she sprint. So her she would have sprint like a spirit version of her would have sprung to life. Do it? Did she say anything upon being sprung to life? Or her eyes open and her mouth begins to chatter. Nothing creepy there. Do I have to wait to ask questions till my next turn? No, you can ask him now. I have returned. Welcome back. All right, I'm going to say, you, you said you were the only person who knew how to do that, who knew how to manipulate time in such a way. How did Millar get there? Uncertain. Speculate we brought him with us. I believe it's only the caster that can ask a question, but I'll double check. Oh, I wasn't asking. Oh, okay. I was offering my opinion as well. It's peanut gallery. Okay. <laughs> Languages, answers are only brief, cryptic, or repetitive. Okay. Got it. Well, I mean, I guess one question per turn for now? Or do I just keep mm. going? You can ask all five. I'm allowing you to ask all five. Okay. And honestly, it doesn't say anything about who can ask the question. Anyone can. I mean, this depends on if Dehargu and them would notice what I've done. Or would be more we focused get out? on get a secret escape giant hatch. god killer. <clears throat> would Boris notice she's up? Like, no, I'm just not. spouting what I would yeah, like to know. Preoccupied. I'm very this is, preoccupied. This is Dave spouting what I he wants just to know. I would just like to know. Yeah, you guys should, if, should like, if you're yeah. not asking a question to her, you should shut up and let me think of what I'm going to ask. You should ask that. Gallery. Ooh, feisty. I guess my second question. How do you know how we can stop Malar? Uncertain of that one. Oh, no. Have you left anything behind to help us? To help you? No. Have you left anything behind that we may utilize to help us? To help you? No. I think she's got some resentment built up. <laughs> No, it's the way that Speak the Dead works. Oh. Yeah. Is that... Did I ask three or four questions? And that's four. four questions. Four. That is four. Fuck. Um, uh, I don't want to fuck this up. How... Elephant in the room? Elephant in the room. <laughs> Is there a way we can get out of this room alive? Yes. Involve the front door. <laughs> oh, 
my god, I'm gonna die. I say that piece too late. Well, you said, is there a way to get out alive from this room? Get out of this room alive, yeah. And then I added slightly after, besides the front door. Unfortunately, because it was delayed, I have to go with the initial question. And she says, yes, one other way. One other way. Yeah, it's too bad we're out of questions. <laughs> Brian, have... do, I, do I have anything <laughs> in my recollection that she would have said on how to get out of here other than... Nope. <gasps> Never came up once. You can try to remember as hard I guess as you I was want to, stand but... up and be like, well, good enough for me. Very Eyes close well, and the teeth me. stop chattering. Mm. All right. Find that other way out. Big brains, go to work. <laughs> Big brains. <laughs> There's a lot of mind things happening in this head. I heard a bottle open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone was quirky. It's called cognac. Oh, shut up and move on to the next turn. Okay. As such... The next turn is the god killer. Don't move on. Don't move on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> hey, uh, Boris. Yeah? Are you prepared? My 27 AC is prepared, yes. Are thy cheeks ready? <laughs> yes. It's ready for the two fingers. My <laughs> diamond plated cheeks are ready. <laughs> you're like, you're I like got you, so I got your back, bro. You, yeah, you, you got his back. All right. So, first thing first, I need a wisdom save from you. Oh, I don't Actually, have a lot from of that. you and Crisis. Boris will be first, uh, Crisis will be I'm, second. What am I part of this? Is Boris is drunk because he have disadvantage. Hey, 20! <laughs> I have a plus one to wisdom. That's 20. Crisis, what's your extra? Uh, my bonus to wisdom is yeah. nine. Oh, that's fucking phenomenal. Okay, so you guys do not enter Blood Rage. Oh my god. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I like it when that doesn't happen. Yeah, so uh, let me just double check to make sure that I'm using this correctly. <clears throat> sure, yeah. Take your time. Yeah, take all the time in the world. No rush. <laughs> so we all tried to pick up the sword, except more has. All right, already. I'm gonna need. Boris never tried. Boris didn't try either. So it's his you, Boris. Clearly, ability is constitution. Oh, yeah. <laughs> constitution. You guys, you guys are fucked. Okay, so. Yeah, I need a deck save from you, Boris, and uh, you have to beat a... The question, 32. do I see the decks, the thing attacking me? Yes, you do, actually. I yeah. can advantage on that, then. Perfect. Fuck yeah! And I have plus four to oh, God, four. a barbarian that knows. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, Brian, I hate to ask, where's Torin? Oh, my gosh. You oh, just summoned, God, that's you unsummoned 22. him. Oh, okay. When you guys entered. You just haven't yeah, summoned him get back in, in. You couldn't get in the room. All right. Gotcha. So you were successful. Congratulations. I'm happy. I'm not. I'm probably still going to take like half of 200 damage. <laughs> So it's a total of yeah. This is gonna hurt. That's half of two. It's fucking. Is it piercing, bludgeoning, or slashing? And it's not magical. Uh, it's force magical. Fuck. So it's thirty-eight plus forty and half. So seventy-eight plus half. 40? What's half of seventy-eight? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Thank you. 
For those Jesus. who are understandable, the spell that he used was disintegrate. Oh yeah. god! If you die from that, bro, don't die from that. Yeah, you can You don't get death saves. Yeah, no, uh, I. Yeah, no, I'm just. I'm dead not quite sure how many times per day he can use that, but hopefully that was that was the one time. I wonder if he gets legendary <laughs> actions. <laughs> oh yes, of course. Oh, oh, of team. course. I, he I, does. I, I suspect that Brian's softballing him so that he doesn't. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so he doesn't fucking go in. Fucking no lube. <laughs> so I guess you know because if if Brian was going like hard, he would have reduced you to like. Half oh, wait, hey! At the start of his turn, he asked for the fucking tornado shit. These guys. Oh, that oh. tornado shit was there. He was still grounded. Oh yeah, oh. no, because it's he asked him. Oh. Yeah, if he moves out and of it. And also, yeah. he got pulled he out of it too. Oh wait. Would then would him getting pulled out of it trigger it? I would assume so. <gasps> or would get him getting knocked into it trigger it? Mm. Those are mm. good questions. I didn't think we had it by happened. the. We I thought we had it when you guys got affected by it. That even moving out of it didn't affect it. If you made that save. Did he make yeah, but by him it. having oh, to didn't. make that movement out, would he would have to make another save or get pulled up? Because that stays for concentration up it to is, one minute. It is. It's it's uh it's a valid question, I think. What's the save for? Yeah, I think it's D nineteen. Four. I'm just asking. I don't know if that's how it should be, but I it's, just. I don't think it's specifically catered yeah, to it's... his. Ed, it's an edge case, so it's game master territory. I feel like it kind of. Plays on similar to like mental prison, where if you use your thing to pull him out of said mental prison, it triggers. <clears throat> no, it doesn't, because it says when a creature starts its turn restrained by the whirlwind, and it's only restrained if it fails. Uh oh, uh, I'm a. S I I have come to the terms that spells that were active we left are still active is that correct well yeah it was instant was it not okay yeah because much. Was, uh, when well, they first my, my entered spirit the world shroud, okay because my spirit shroud was would still be active so he would have from that earlier attack would have taken a little bit more damage if that like, what was it like 2d10 more damage it's um Oh, okay. Dude, two oh, yeah. Because it's when it first Dude. casts, and then when they fail, they become restrained. And then while they're restrained, they can get flipped out. But it's only when they enter or when they're restrained that it goes against them. I don't see anything that goes against them with leaving after they had a success. We need to push this bitch off the mountain, then he'll die. Like, that's 60 mm. feet and then 200 and something feet after oh, that. okay, I see. I it see. was 60 and then 300, and you already did it once. I already, we already did wait, it we've once. Knocked it, wait, we've well, knocked I can him move already? my whirlwind up to 30 oh, feet, yeah. so I can move it on my turn to grab him again. We you just can need try, to fuck yes. him up and then knock him off. Yes. Hey, hold on. That means in the instant we were asleep, he made it back up. <laughs> yes. He's got what the fuck? Some, yeah, he's a determined motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Does it <laughs> pretty determined? That's my interpretation. It's pretty determined. All right. So, what's For the what save it's worth, 20 Ryan, he's... on these guys? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Yep. It's a save of Dex. Yeah. Or strength. Oh. Well, for strength, he'll be able to get it, but the other guys, regardless, they're gonna get whipped out. Nice. Well, no, it's they stay. They so how it is is a restrained creature can use an action uh, to make a strength or dex check against your spell save. If successful, the creature is no longer restrained, and then it spits them out. So if they or uh, it's only when they're successful that they get spit out of tornado. If they fail the save. Then they I really stay in That's the fine. tornado and raise five feet higher within the tornado. That's extremely weird. 
So now they're 10 feet up in the air rather than 5. They're still in my tornado. God, I want to throat punch whoever made this spell. <laughs> so he gets He's thrown, so but the other guys don't? That's fucking weird. Okay. That's yeah. fucking weird. Yep. Holy shit. Because, getting thrown because, out of the because they're trying to get out of the tornado, and then just the effect of them getting out of the so tornado is they 10. get yeeted. So they go <laughs> up no, like... Those, they're 10 feet so, up. So that guys are 10 feet up, and this guy got yeeted off the cliff. Yep. Wow. Bye. <laughs> uh, Brian, for what it's worth, uh, Yegnahu took 2d8 extra radiant damage from me on the previous in. attack for whatever. Okay, you know. I'll just throw in an extra 10. That's fine. Also, uh, since he's within 10 feet of me, his speed is reduced by 10. Mm. Like, nah, that that's, that's That's fine. I mean... I'm sure it's, like, movement's, like, a hundred feet a turn. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. His his <laughs> movement is only forty five. Oh, is it really? Yeah. It's not even as fast. If he wouldn't have been able to make the granny and chop her head off. For what that's worth. <laughs> um. I, feel, I still feel bad that <laughs> he has a climb speed faster than his movement, which is ridiculous. Let's go. Just... So that's how he got back up there. <laughs> that that's, explains everything. <clears throat> there you go. That, that's how he just climbed the side. <laughs> <clears throat> of the, this pustulant fucking mountain. Scam. He climbed every day for fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's... Oh. <laughs> I have should... the high ground. Fuck you. I can climb faster I than I can walk. high ground. <laughs> Thank you. I can climb faster than I can walk. What the hell? Some of these oh, designs of characters. Can you put, my, can you put my spirit shroud aura on me? You want the ten foot bro. circle? My ten foot. Yeah, I want my ten foot circle, bro. There you Thank go. You. There's your bro sphere. You happy? My bro. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not quite a bro sphere. And it's sphere. lopsided, and I don't really appreciate that. But I know I'll deal. <laughs> Okay. Why are you so fucking picky about this? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm not gonna. Go. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> now let me get back to it. Boris, what's your AC? Twenty-seven. <laughs> One more time. Yes, that's twenty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> it's higher than mine, actually. His flail dings off you. Ooh. Less than three ah. of it. So you're oh my god! Ah. Where's, where's the multi attack? I smell a multi attack. <laughs> don't don't say that. Oh, but there is a multi attack. Oh, oh god. god! I knew there was a multi attack. Uh oh! Uh, you said uh, twenty seven. I said twenty seven. He beat it by one. Sorry. Oh. I I shield. I, I <laughs> no. I launch my shield at Boris. How many? All three. All three. You deflect his flail. I, oh I can't, my god! I can't, I can't metagame Thank that hard. God. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You were able to deflect the first one since he cast a spell. He can't get his third attack. All right, we are moving on. Yes. Nice. Oh yes. So it's Boris. Yeah. Payback time. Yeah, do some. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, do something. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna do some cool legend shit or something. I'm gonna yeah. attack him twice with my axe. Oh God, look. All right, your axe is <laughs> Actually, I'm going to rage and then attack him twice with my axe. Five, good hit. Oh. Plus eleven oh, to hit. hit one. Okay. Plus eleven to hit. One mm -hmm. of them does. Two of them do. Two, okay, thank God. Uh, and then, so that's one d10 plus nine for each, and then two d6 cold for each. Fuck him up. Thirty so, forty-four. Nice. <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> nice. He gives a reaction. Oh. <laughs> No, Is he no, using no. the legendary bullshit? It's the blood rage. Called? It's the blood rage. Oh, it's the blood rage. Oh, fuck. It's dumb. You're um, raging more. It's not. <laughs> oh, it's Thanks. not? Oh? Thanks. Thanks. That's no. No. I you need got us all prepped for this blood rage shit. 
I mean, the Constitution <laughs> plus 10. So 17. You didn't beat the 20. He licks you your doing? face, and your face begins to burn heavily. Ah! He is herpesifilates. <laughs> Hangar, you lick. You are now paralyzed. <laughs> That's the most action you've gotten in weeks. <laughs> in his life? You it's are not, going not to more start, than my life, but... We're going to start you know, off all I can taking for five is poison damage. Oh, am I poisoned now? This is just something's going to happen every round. You are poisoned, and... Uh, poison sucks, bro. Oh, yeah. no. And you got disease number two. What's oh, disease God. number two? Oh, God. Stop licking the... Yeah, heck no. He, I didn't lick him. He licked me. <laughs> this was not consensual. I... I uh... How do you lick him with it? There's just On a lot of things I want to say. On his face, in his ear, in his mouth. What compelled yeah, where you did to he lick, lick you? I can't be. Ta I can't. He licked taste him on good. the what face. So, uh, what okay. compelled you, to me, sir? You get. You could have. That's a valid question. This is going to constantly keep going at you until it eventually blinds you. You have sight oh. rot. You are sight currently rot. bleeding from your eyes, and it will eventually blind you. Uh, how no, you got, how uh, long? How close is eventually? Herpesephalitis is real. The creature gets minus one penalty to attack rolls and ability checks that rely on sight, and this gets worse every day until cured. Until it reaches Yo! a minus five, okay, so where you day. then lose. Yeah, so it's a 24-hour thing. So you just have a minus one at the moment. Yeah. So you have five we days have to five cure days it. Five days to cure it. Yep. Cool. You just look really angry and tired. With it's blood plus. coming out of his eyes? Okay. I guess that's angry and tired. <laughs> <laughs> very, very angry and extremely tired. That's what I'm tired. saying. You don't fuck with somebody that's <laughs> bleeding from the eyes. It's intimidating as shit. <laughs> Most certainly is. All right. Who's Not turn? to be underestimated. It's my turn. Okay. Uh, is like, how does a uh, fire elemental work? Does it like, is it a bonus action? Is it? You could command it as its own separate turn. Perfect. Thank you. Pet rules. Pet rules. Cool. Pet rules. I'm gonna. Yes. I need to look at a fire elemental on the side here. And then, well, that's on the end. Okay. So, I guess I'm looking at the situation we're having right now. I'll be right back. And. <laughs> I'm gonna do a big breather. Um, first, I'm gonna like drop any evil things off of me. So any soul coins I have, I'm gonna drop them away from me and all that stuff. Okay. All right. So, and then I'm gonna look, and I'm going to as I go and ask and grab the sword. I'm gonna say to myself. And say to the thing, say, I shall oath myself to save Zario and vanquish the evils that we face. But please, release me of who I was as bearer of the mark, and I shall do your bidding. And I would also be able to save my friends, too. As I grab the sword. Perfect. Uh -oh. Perfect. Lavina's body husk, if you will, changes to a bright light, changes into light particles, and emerges once with the sword. You were able oh. to pick up the sword without any issues. You are now empowered. You have Zariel's will carried along with you okay your mark is still on you okay. however it feels weakened oh. almost there all right all right then so okay i guess i'm gonna go and confront uh yanahu and engage him give me one second 
You need to attune to the sword, Chuck. Okay, so let me do my spells. I do have one spell so left. Have you attuned to it? Yes. The building explodes outward with a radiant light, blasting all creatures a thousand feet outward. Well, rip. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, 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 we need to go. He can move quick. <laughs> You were able to find that the dome above you, the roof itself, is vanished. And you were able to see the skies of Avernus. And the circle of the roof appears that the sky above you is no longer red. And is actually a clear blue sky. Oh, blue sky. But only in the circle above the roof. Like everywhere else in the world is just red yeah. still. We should go. <laughs> like way upon grabbing the sword Chuck and only Chuck is able to see the ghost of Lavina oh it's good to see you again all she does is give you a nod with a smile on her face Yeah, I will do what I need to do the ghost vanishes at that time And then I look over. All right. And I look at everybody and say, "We need to press on. We're now." Looks like we have. We are. We need to go, and finally face the evils that are in front of us once and for all, and take care of it. Okay. Um, we left our truck down at the bottom of this hill, right? Murder minivan. Yeah, you know. Hey, this is more than a little bit of hill. We gotta go through this bitch to get up, get back. Okay, so Chucky. Mm -hmm. We have to go through everything that you have gained. I will add it to your inventory later. Okay. So, you can now speak angelic, or celestial. You can read, write, and speak celestial. Okay. Mm. You have resistance to all necrotic and radiant damage. Your charisma is 20. You now have a pair of beautiful feathered wings, and you have a flying speed of 90 feet and the ability to hover. Okay. You have true sight. Holy shit, that's fast. <laughs> you have true sight, so you can see in normal and magical darkness. You can see invisible creatures, and you can automatically detect illusions and you are able to see anyone transformed by magic. See into the ethereal plane, and that has a range of 60 feet. And you also gain a new personality trait. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of information to uh, change on here. <laughs> and your personality trait that you have changed is you will not tell a lie. Yep. Holy light, the sword, sheds a bright light in five feet, dim light for additional five. Fiends within the sword's light, I find it discomforting and painful, even if they can't see it. They have disadvantage on attack rolls made within the radius of the light. The sword yeah. deals an additional 2d8 radiant damage. Like I said, I'm going to add it all. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how powerful this fucking thing is. If you're wielding the, hand, the sword with two hands, it's 3d10 instead. If you hit any evil creature with it, they must make a con save of 17 or be blinded. The sword is sentient, so you can speak with Lavina at any time during a bonus action, if you will. And you can use this three times in a day. Mm -hmm. You gain advantage on all wisdom insight checks. This weapon is versatile, so you can use a one-hand, two-hand. And there is an option to kill, destroy the sword if you so choose. 
Did I merge with my friends? Getting? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I hope you still, wanted are we still this. Going or are we calling it a night and waiting to Wait, do, yeah. do what happens? We are later. calling it a night because, gentlemen, you, have, level up. you have all what? successfully leveled up. Fuck yeah! Hey. More Hazard oh, Sprouts wings! <laughs> Leathery, <laughs> grotesque wings. Gross. More Hazard is dragon! Correct. More Hazard is ice dragon now. Hear me. <laughs> it just grouse. Uh. I would say that uh, out of all the sessions we've played, I don't think there's been one where I've actually felt this useless. I don't think I did anything this entire <laughs> session. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a genuine laugh. <laughs> I'm serious, though. I don't think I actually did even know, the things I did that were supposed to be. He teleported the whole party. Oh my god. Any... No, yeah, that teleport literally saved us all from immediate fucking deletion. So you actually <laughs> literally saved us from a party wipe. <laughs> See, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No, like, like that, serious. I, yeah, I, forced two, I forced one of you to come back and, like, the whole reason. So, 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 yeah, but you didn't know that. Well, we didn't know that was, you know, a, a thing that we all he, had he to did, get out. He did hyper commit. He did hyper commit. Right. And that's, uh, that's Chuck, true. refresh your page. It should be added. But no, seriously, like, I'm not joking. Like, you literally saved us from what would have been a party wipe. Because there's no way we were going to be able to run across that field in two turns with all of the fucking enemies there. Especially fucking Godslayer being there. Like, your teleport Brian, literally fucking saved Brian, us. Brian, tell us what would have happened <laughs> if we, if we, if, if all six of us hadn't made it to the exit. The portal would have not opened, the world would have collapsed with all of you in it, and you would have taken 20 D100 points of force so we'd damage. Be dead. <laughs> Yeah, so literally just, deletion just, just unless you got just all deleted. fucking ones. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a possibility, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, is no. a slight possibility you could live, but it is but, very, very but slim. But <laughs> upon the slim chance of it's, living, it's you'd be zero. stuck. You'd be stuck within the ethereal plane. Cool. Yeah, it could be worse. It Go. could be worse. Yeah, Josh, you literally saved us from a fucking entire party wipe. Well, I'm glad I saved Josh then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> so I have to bring up a thing. Go th th this level. I have magical secrets again. I can choose. Oh, two you got spells. you got some you got some janky shit going on then. I got two spells. <laughs> yeah, you got some jank. Just got like Hold plus on. one jank. You remember when I said earlier that Spirit Guardians and Spirit Shroud could make an unbeatable combo, like a ridiculous. So I could get Spirit Shroud. Jeez. I don't know. It's iffy. Because because it only applies to attacks that you make, and if you spend right. your turn doing a is it not just attack, melee attacks or is it attacks in general? I think it's attacks in general. You got to double check, but I think it's attacks. Because in if general. that's the case. I don't know. You're a, not a damage class. You ought not to try to Great be. thing. <laughs> Opinion. But, I mean, you do you. There's a lot so, of spells. That to I also do, let so you gentlemen know, out. Abortus and Crisis, since you're able to see outside, you're able to see a lot of dots and figures of gnolls and stuff being blasted away from the scab. I'm just giving that a heads up. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm just gonna like. Oh yeah. How many do you, how many do you think we're up higher in the scab and are gonna die from fall damage? I want to take bets. I think we have time to take bets before they hit the ground. I'm gonna say seventy-two. I mean, I was thinking more like plus or minus half. Oh okay. I'm gonna say more than half. All right. I'm gonna go with. Well, I'll, I'm gonna have to play the pessimist. Less than half. It's Brian. 
That's all I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> so what were you guys guessing against? How many of them die from fall damage from being blasted a thousand feet away? It's a plus or minus half of them. What are we wagering, by the way? Uh, do you have any more booze? Let me see if I have any more booze. Yeah, I... Uh, I, I don't think I have any did, booze. Did you... <laughs> I don't think I have any more booze, so I can't wager booze. Well, yeah, well, um, over half of them. What do you have? I can, you know what? I can wager my werebore's index finger, the finger from the first werebore we fought together. That's uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't. You can you can wager whatever you want. It doesn't got to be the booze, because obviously I don't think that's worth booze. I, is, that, <laughs> is that all you got to wager? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't have much that I'm. You know, I have five's head. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'm going to wager two of my demon ichor flasks. You have, you have the skull of the legend. Oh, I, get, I'm, I need to add that in, but I'm not I'm not wagering the legend skull. I'll get, I'll wager two of my demon ichor flasks. Oh, fine. And and the the not the legend, but the uh, the bullshit. Five's head. Yes. Okay. What are I... you wagering? Uh, my angel tears. Your angel tears. Okay. Now, who is betting what? Like I'm betting more than half. He's betting less than half. Died. Boris won the bet. It was more than half. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Give me, them, can... give me them angel tears. We all get the drink. <laughs> <laughs> I used to win anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's a victory for me anyways. Ha <laughs> ha. So there you are, gentlemen. That is session for today. You are all leveling up. I do not know if oh, you guys yeah. are deciding to take a rest here or not. I don't know if we have time. That this dude's like good. Definitely live. place to rest. This is like extremely sketchy place to rest. Well, I yeah. mean, it's entirely up to you guys, but I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. everything yeah. within the area got blasted away a thousand feet. Definitely is an option that I won't encourage anybody to take. Yeah, <laughs> like... we should decide at the beginning of next session. Uh, yeah, I mean, short rests really don't do shit for me. I need long rests, and there's no way we're gonna get away with a long rest here. So, yeah, Luke. Can you catnap me? I concur with the lizard. Yeah, I can do that. Knock me out, bro. I say we get the fuck out and then we fucking rest. What's catnap? So we can take again? a long rest. It's ten a minutes. ten minute rest. Who who gets any value from a short rest? I get a little. I, I mean, I, obviously, I get hit die back, back, and then and I get one it. of my Too features, which is talking. a bonus. I didn't. I didn't actually hear anybody. <laughs> Boris would get his augury back, but that's about it. <laughs> Morhazar just really benefits from it. Yeah, Morhazar only gets his um after ten die, your, uh, and then my uh bone my uh feature that lets me get a advantage on persuasion or intimidation roll. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's I get all one, I get for short rest. Because uh, Luke can short rest three people in ten minutes. Is it three people? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. So the question: yeah. How many of us at this point can fly now? I'm curious at how much of our party can fly. Crisis, me, obviously. And now I can. Can anyone can else fly? At a oh, limited can extent. Fly. While he has the sword. Yeah, that's why I said. I have a spell I can use to fly if I want. Okay. So there's Dahagru, so there's four. Which I've never used. And then you have Torin, who somebody might be able to ride. Yep. His flight is also limited, but he can. So I think it's only Oz who can't fly. Um. <laughs> Boris can't fly. Oh, yeah, and Boris. So Oz and, and Boris are the only two that can't fly. Again. Boris can well, jump, Boris and jump really you. high, but he can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> spectacular. 
Oh my god, I just got an Eldritch Invocation. No. It's a one Boris pro. got a total of two things, I think. <gasps> oh my yeah. god, I got an Undril Eldritch Invocation and a feat. I got my best spell. I got Dream of the oh Blue Bell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, hate so to you guys, time, but Luke's heading home. Yeah, anytime I want to end my existence here, I can just go back to Material Plane now. Oh, well. <laughs> just like, I'm dying. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm <laughs> pretty sure this ain't going to work out. You guys like, are just... all dying around him. He's like, you know, this doesn't seem like a good situation. I'm going to go. Mm hmm. Boris got a fighting style and second wind. So that's a thing. I can get my charisma up to 15 if I choose Prodigy Feet. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna need to switch my my spells around because I definitely need to change some of mine around. There are some that don't use hardly ever, then some that I definitely want to have that don't have. Well, there you are, gentlemen. <coughs> yeah. Yes, that is all that so means. was that the only way to yeah. escape? Hey. Oh, I'm so, sure it wasn't the only way, but it's yeah. the one we decided on. After we went on a spiral, we could have just beat out of curiosity, right? Assuming, assuming there's yeah. nothing that's going to be revealed. The only other 